Well, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the Cattlemen's Congress here in Oklahoma City. We are excited to get started this morning. Before we do, if we could please have you all rise for a national anthem. Well, again, ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the Cattlemen's Congress in Ring 1. We are excited to get started with our Hereford Junior Show. We'll be starting with your Horned Hereford Division. First class into the ring will be Class 1 Horned Spring Heifer Calves, born May 2nd through June 30th, 2021. In Ring 2, in just a few moments, we'll be getting started with your Limousine Medal of Excellence show. First class in, in ring two, will be class one, first class in division one. Your judge on ring one today will be Mr. Lydell Meyer of Clinton, Tennessee. And your judge in ring two today, Mr. Chad Holtkamp of Iowa.
Well, congratulations over here in ring two. Results of class one. First place goes to back number 7304. ATNF, Undenying Love, 151J, exhibited by Sage Hanrahan of Ogarchi, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 7005. DLBL Judo 105J, exhibited by DM Beach Limousin Ranch in Bristow, Oklahoma. Currently in ring two is class two here in division one.
Well, good morning. That, uh, certainly an honor and a privilege here to be at the Cattlemen's Congress evaluating your Horn and Pold Hereford Cattle Junior Show today. At, uh, uh, had a, a, a privilege to judge the limousine show yesterday in the junior division. And, and man, what, what a great deal. And, and hey, I don't, everybody watching this Hereford deal so far, what a great class of May-June calves to get this thing going. Uh, just outstanding set from top to bottom, no doubt. Good combination heifer to lead off our day. Young lady brings us probably one for me. Boy, she just comes in and commands this class as far as at the ground. So good in her pasture and in her joints. She just gets out and just glides and just strolls around the ring. Extremely comfortable. And then you add on top of that, she's got some spread up over her top, up over her hip. She's probably a little more massive hip than the two heifers right behind her. She's so proportional, lower part of her chest, back into that middle, her navel, on back into that uh, rear flank. And you'll hear me talk about that throughout the day, that balance of the lower one-third of their body. And that just simply means how that chest floor lays into that forerib, where that navel is, back into that rear flank, and how that all attaches, and how smooth and uh, genuine we are right through there. This young lady, Sefer, as far as look, style, and balance, soundness, power, she's the complete one to win this class. Good, good female. Really high, highly attractive, a little longer body, more extended heifers go two and three. I read a lot of future in this one that here comes in second. So extended up through her front end, long up out of her spine. I think she's got enough power. She's maybe one of the greener heifers within this class. Still good at the ground. I don't know that she's as comfortable handling those pastures as that leadoff heifer. But I, I think this heifer's so long, so smooth, so elegant, but yet still gets around and reaches really, really good. I like her a great deal. A heifer that I moved up quite a bit, the more I study this one, the more I like her. I like her in her lines. I like her balance. I like the fact that she combos that extra length and extension with some power and, and, and true dimension over her top and up out of her hip. She too is still very comfortable at the ground. Balances up well in the lower one third of her body. She probably doesn't just drive and have the power that those top two heifers have. Another big footed, big bone heifer comes in fourth and I like this heifer young lady. This heifer's still a little green. She gets a little bit played out right in behind her shoulders and up high as far as muscle is concerned to those heifers right in front of you. She's a little flatter in her stifle. Uh, and doesn't have quite that three-dimensional muscle look that I like for. Outside of that, she's sound, big bone, good looking and attractive. I just need to see a little bit more muscle shape and that heifer can drive that back up there to the top part of that class. A really thick, stout heifer comes in that good at the ground young man. Gets a little rounder, a little shorter coupled. She just gets a little shorter front end, just a little lower to the ground for me within this particular class. But I like that heifer. Good, genuine, build a lot of muscle and meat in that one. Same thing goes for the next heifer. Young lady, this heifer from the back, shoulders back, she's stout. Big body, big hip, still good at the ground. A little more chest and a little more front end compared to those heifers right in front of you. Love the power and dimension in that one. Heifer comes in next. Uh, young man came in here a little bit late, but hey, it's better to be late than never. Good heifer, young man. Shoulders back, square, good made, good at the ground. Maybe for me, she just gets a little bit more open at the base of that shoulder and a little plainer about her chest or neck. Tail head comes up out of sight of her body cavity a little bit more, so it causes her to not balance up quite as well. Young man's heifer coming in next, a little flatter made, just doesn't have that good three-dimensional look. Same thing for the young man rounding out the class. And heifers that got a nice pattern from the side, but just don't have enough meat, muscle, and power today. Good group, nice heifer there to lead off today.
Well, we have the results in class one over here in ring one for your Horn Spring Heifer Calves. First place went to back number 30770, Bart PSC SCC Rosebud 1025 ET, owned by Braley Carr of Alba, Texas. Second place went to back number 30773, ECR Miss Julia 0117 ET, exhibited by Catherine Coleman of Modesto, California. Third place, went to back number 30774, BF8029AVA134J, exhibited by Randy June Williams of Dublin, Texas. Fourth place, went to back number 30765, exhibited by Kinley Eckhoff. Fifth place, went to back number 30772, exhibited by Cooper and Jory Miller. Sixth place, back number 30775, uh, Sophia Taylor of Parkton, Maryland. Seventh place went to back number 30767, exhibited by Raylan Clemens, Dyson Dunlap, and Tucker Smith. And eighth place in that class went to back number 30766, exhibited by Mason Jones. Currently in ring one, we have your next class of Horn Spring Heifer Calves. And over in ring two, we have the results of class two here in your first division of limousine females. First place went to back number 7231, SHSK Drew Barrymore ET, exhibited by Kendall Spriggs of Afton, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 7227, TASF Justice Classy 541 JET, exhibited by Claire Kessler of Crawfordsville, Indiana. Third place, back number 7230, exhibited by Ashley Schrag. Fourth place, back number 7310, exhibited by Mia Dobson. Fifth place, back number 7309, Taylor Holloway. Sixth place, back number 7018, exhibited by Jennings Sanders. Now currently in ring two is class three here in your first division of Limits and Females.
Back on our Hereford side, another good class here. April Horn females, uh, pretty uh, commanding set, no doubt. Good combination female to lead off here. One that combines that power, that look, that style and balance and soundness. As she stands today, I think she gets out and moves extremely nice. There is at times, young man, I, I think that shoulder blade rocks just a little bit forward. But the way she's handling it today here as a calf, I think she's awfully good. Really chiseled about her chest and her head and her neck, and I, and I appreciate that about her. But she's also with that uh, uniqueness up through her front end. She's powerful over her top and up out of her hip. I prefer her freshness and youthfulness compared to the heifer that's in second. Man, I just think that's an awfully commanding heifer to win this class. Big stout, powerful heifer, young man, you got here in second. From her shoulders back, she's robust. Big top, big hip, super soft, super sound. You know, at, at times, I mean, you, we can even watch, you know, that rear passenger. It, it, it kind of, she almost sits a little bit, almost too far back up on it. But like for me to get her to, to rival that one right in front of her, I, I'd like to just freshen her up and roll her back just a little bit in relation to being an April calf. But man, you got to stand back and say, man, that's a powerful beast and uh, she's getting with it. But I, I, I think there's a lot of good there. Freshen her up, clean her up through her chest and her head and her neck at this stage of the game, but there's a lot of cow there. We go to about the exact polar opposite when we come back into our third. We got probably a little greener, a little fresher, a little more youthful heifer comes in third. I, I just wish I could see just a little bit more uh, drop and just overall dimension in the lower one-third of this heifer's uh, body to maybe convince myself today just to drive her all the way up to the top. She's sound, she's square, she's attractive, good built, a uh, lot of future in that heifer. She just needs a little bit more time, but beautifully presented. Same thing goes for this young uh, heifer coming in next. Uh, gave up a little power right here in the, in the three and four spot to get that skeleton design that I like. Uh, beautiful hind leg and foot structure in this one. So square and good up out of her hip. She just gives up a little bit of length and a little bit of power to drive just a little bit for, more forward in this particular class. That's a beautiful built heifer with a lot of future and promise. We get a little bit more power coming in the heifer coming in next. I, I, I'd like to change her tail head set. She's not as powerful off of that hind leg heifer coming in next is one that just gets up a little bit more balance to those heifers right in front of her uh, the wider stocked heifer coming in next probably one for me there's at times I really like this one but she just flattens out a little too much for me just gets a little more narrow young man's uh, heifer coming in next just a little bit more uh, unbalanced a little deeper in her chest a little more uh, erect in her tail head placement just doesn't have the balance and symmetry of some of those heifers right in front of her and a young man rounding out the class a good fresh green heifer that's got a lot of future and promise she just doesn't have enough dimension and overall power to drive her up a little bit higher today a young man's done a great job. It's a good set of females. Uh, nice trio there on the top side. Well, congratulations in ring one. We have the results of your second class of horned heifer calves. First place went to back number 30777 BRNY June Bug 69 JET owned by Isaiah Sally of Porham, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 30790, SC Jessica 120 JET, exhibited by Creighton Carpenter of Leedy, Oklahoma. Third place went to back number 30778, LSC Jazlyn 107 JET, exhibited by Riley Gregory Rhodes of Carlinville, Illinois. Fourth place, Exhibited by Wyatt and Hadley Dunklow of Wayne, Nebraska. Fifth place, exhibited by Luke Daniels, Delhart, Texas. Sixth place, exhibited by Hardy McCallum Edwards. And six, seventh place in that class will go to back number 30895, exhibited by Taylor Mars of Macomb, Oklahoma. Eighth place, exhibited by Jaden and Jacob Thomas. And ninth place in that class, exhibited by Wyatt Kurtz. Now in ring one, we have class three Horn Spring Heifer Calves born March 14th through March 27th, 2021.
Well, congratulations over in ring two. The results of class three here in the first division of Limousin and Females. First place exhibited by McKenna Richardson of Eureka, Kansas with Richardson's jazziness. Second place was exhibited by Carly Mae Harris, Lawton, Oklahoma with Ratliff Jackpot 140 JET. Third place exhibited by Allison Dillingham of Porter, Oklahoma with LAFO Jazzy. Fourth place was exhibited by Eliza Truel of Skytook, Oklahoma with SHSK Regina George ET. And fifth place in that class exhibited by Jet Lee Smith, Chelsea, Oklahoma with LAFO Jackie. Now currently in ring two, we have class four here in the first division of Limousin Females.
Well, congratulations over here in ring two. Results of class four first place exhibited by Michaela Joan Macy of London, Kentucky with Ratliff Jailbreak 137 JET. Second place exhibited by Peyton Gwines with LMCC Dancing Girl 111 JET. Third place exhibited by Corbin Robbins. Fourth place exhibited by Cage Hill Harris. Fifth place was exhibited by Corbin Robbins. Sixth place exhibited by Dylan Young. Seventh exhibited by Caitlin McKenzie Ayers. Eighth place exhibited by Brooklyn Ann Ludens. Ninth place in that class exhibited by DM Beach Limousine Ranch. Currently in ring two, class five. Awesome set of March uh, heifer calves here at uh, a really good group from top to bottom. The kids bring us here this morning. Uh, uh, once again, good combination heifer to lead off. Uh, a female that uh, comes at us today, uh, you know, for a March heifer calf, pretty show ready. Uh, one is big top, big hip. Love the balance in the lower one third of her body. She commands the class there, no doubt, as far as in, is in hip structure and just pure power as she stands today. Uh, this thing gets out and moves extremely well. You know, still at times, you know, we got to watch that. There's always that perfect lamb of, you know, that angle pattern. Does it sit too far back or is it too far forward? And she pushes that element. I, I'm not going to hide that by no doubt on that rear pattern. But I mean, as far as one that's got mass, look, style, and balance and power, uh, she, she's got it today. Boy, I like this one here coming in second and if you want to just sit back here and go hey I'm gonna I, let, let's judge these things on what they might look like as big heifers and uh, I sure like this one she is awesome at the ground everything fits on this one guys she's good her foot size matches her bone so awesome out of her spine and her hip structure and, and you know this effort is a little bit deceiving from the side she looks flatter you get behind her and she's got some width she's chiseled the neck comes up high out of the point of those blades that's an awfully good heifer just not enough of her to beat that one today uh, the, the darker red heifer that comes in next, uh, probably from her hip bo or hip board, I, I really like this one. Uh, a flat shoulder, still good about her chest and her neck. I, I want to change her from her hip from her, from her hooks to her pins a little bit, that tail head set just a little bit. She's not as commanding off of those hind legs as those front two, but I think that one's smooth, stout, and powerful. Uh, there's just a few little things that there I'd like to change about her to drive her just a little bit far. Young lady brings a really nice one coming in next. Good lines, flat shoulder, good neck, got plenty of power for the most part. But when I compare to those front three heifers, she runs out of gas as far as from her hooks to her pins, gets a little bit flatter, maybe not as robust right through the center part of her body. But that's still a high quality female. A little bit of balance gets this next one there's parts and pieces of this one young man I really like she's got some shape she's got some body she pushes a little chest her tail head's a little high maybe doesn't balance up quite as well she's still really good at the ground young lady coming in next once again just a little bit of simple balance that you may be a little coarser and plainer about her head and her neck tail head sets a little high maybe a little flatter in her rib young lady to heifer around and out the class she too is a little flatter in her muscle pattern just gives up too much overall capacity and mass and a little bit of balance to get her any higher a good set but a really good set uh, set of heifers from top to bottom. My compliments to those exhibitors. Congratulations in class three Horn Spring Heifer Calves. First place went to back number 30796 Hawk Murphy 14 JET exhibited by Kinnick Paulson of Preston, Iowa. Second place exhibited by Paige Lemonager, Hudson, Illinois with ECR Jackie 0102 ET. Third place, exhibited by Katherine Coleman, Modesto, California, with HBL Ladybird 131 ET. Fourth place was exhibited by Mabry Howard of Allen, Oklahoma, with CH Miss Lexus 181 ET. Fifth place in that class, exhibited by Mason Roder of Segan, Texas, with HLAR Mildred 1521 ET. Sixth place in that class, exhibited by Haley Ferguson, and seventh, exhibited by Zania Van Landingham. Now currently in ring one, we're bringing in class four Horn Spring Heifer Calves born March 2nd through March 10th, 2021.
Well, congratulations in class five here in your first division. Over in ring two, first place went to Dalton Miller with DEBV, Jennifer Anison, 145J. Second place exhibited by McKenna Hoppa, Fremont, Michigan with SKLS, 276J. Third place in that class exhibited by McKinley Palmateri of Durant, Oklahoma with MLP Cruel Girl. Fourth place went to Tyra Meyer of Sylvan Grove, Kansas with Ratliff Just One, 138JET. Fifth place exhibited by Bo Penny of Hastings, Minnesota with DL Just About Perfect, 624. And sixth place in that class exhibited by Brand Gasway of Stillwater, Oklahoma with OAKC Jewel 109J. Now coming in ring two will be class six here in the first division in your open limousine show. Wow, what another really good class here from top to bottom. And, uh, I, boy, the quality just keeps coming at us. This redneck heifer here that uh, kind of just comes in and ring and com commands some attention. You talk about good at the ground. I, probably for me the thing that, that I like the most about this one, I'll just, if you look at the starter at the point of her shoulders and how that neck just blends smoothly right up into there, and then she just comes right up over her top line and her hip and her hooks to her pins and her tail head, they all just fit and lay in so good. A lot of balance in the lower one-third of her body. She's got probably for me pretty ideal rib shape. She's not overly robust. It all just fits. She's square and true off of both ends, gets out and moves extremely comfortable, still good enough up through her chest and her neck, and still plenty in, in, in the right kind of rig for uh, you know, a spring heifer calf at this stage of the game. I, I love the little extra features about the young lady's heifer here in second. A lot of foot, a lot of bone, a lot of mass, a lot of just maybe a shot even more internal dimension as far as that rib cage is concerned. Big white hip when you get in behind her. But when I compare her to that class winner as she stands today, she's not as truly connected right up at the top part of her blades. Her shoulder blade pushes out just a little bit more, so she dips into that fore rib just a tad bit more. So she's not as genuine right there as our class winner. Still a lot of goodness about her chest and her head and lack. That's an awfully, awfully good one good pair of heifers young man here that ends up being third I guess the more I studied this one the more I really like this one and, and and to me I just read a lot of future in her young man she's simply not as wide constructed as those two in front of her she gives up too much top and too much hip but outside of that she's awesome at the ground she's beautiful in her line she's flat shoulder and good chest and a good neck she balances that about got plenty of rib there just needs to be a little bit more muscle you get that you can challenge those two heifers a little bit harder and sure that's a good heifer uh, heifer coming in fourth man if I could relax this heifer in her spine in her spine she's got she's just tied up there ever so slightly and I don't know exactly what's going on there but it, it causes her just to be a little bit more uncoordinated how she handles those hind legs but when this girl gets her planted that heifer's got gives you a lot of good attributes big body got some bone got some hip got some shape still's got a good look I just need to get her to just free up just a little bit more 
Uh, Heifer coming in next one that probably for me at, at times, I, 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 you know, I really like this one. I mean, she's got a lot of shape, a real three-dimensional look. She gets a little bit plainer about her chest and her head and her neck, a little shorter body, a little shorter hipped. And so it just causes her not to balance up quite as well from the side as some of those heifers right in front of her. But a lot of product and a lot of soundness. Long body, long hip heifer here, a little flatter, a little deeper in her chest. Maybe just to me gets a little bit plainer, but I love her length of body and her length of hip. There's a lot of cow power there. And another really good heifer young lady to round out this class. And and, uh, you know, there's not many breeds that are going to have one this good that rounds out of a class. You're just in a really, really tough class. She's good fronted. She's good in her lines. She's very proportional in the way she's made. There's just not enough of her to get around some of those heifers right in front of her today. But that's still a high-quality heifer young lady. You've done a great job. Good set. Nice pair of heifers there on the top side of that class. Well, congratulations. Over here in ring one, we have the result of class four Horn Spring Heifer Calves. First place went to back number 30810. BK Just Flashy 154J exhibited by Grady and Hudson Carter of Stratford, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 30817. EXR Primrose 1501 ET exhibited by Eldo, Ella Weldon of Piedmont, Oklahoma. Third place, exhibited by Quaid and Wyatt McIntyre of Leedy, Oklahoma. Fourth place, went to back number 30815, KJBJ753D, Sherilyn 385, JET, exhibited by Madeline Cooper and Wyatt Weber. Fifth place, went to back number 30811, Cameron Oaks. Sixth place, exhibited by Raylan Clemens, Dyson Dunlap, and Tucker Smith. And seventh place, exhibited by back number 30809, Brooklyn Bain of Lawton, Oklahoma. Currently in ring one, we're bringing in all of your first and seconds to select a champion reserve out of your first division here in your junior Horned Hereford show. Back over in ring two, we have the results of class six here in division one of your open limousine show. First place, exhibited by Kinley Column of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Second place, exhibited by Ashley Schrag. And third place, exhibited by J.C. Smith. For those of you sitting in the stands over here in ring two, we will read those results down the list so that you can follow along in your book. For class six, two, scratch, scratch, one, three. Currently in ring two, we are selecting your first division champion reserve. Well, folks, here in our Horn Hereford show this morning, let's give all these uh, first division exhibitors a nice round of applause on an awesome set of heifers they brought us today. Uh, just a real, real uh, quick recap. Uh, I, you know, they, 
the good lineup. I, I, I feel real comfortable where, where, we, where we ended up in these class winners and our seconds, kind of, you know, sticking to my guns as far as, you know, these cattle got to move, they got to have some balance, they got to have some symmetry. And, and then we try to add a little bit, as much power as we can to keep it all in, in perspective. Uh, that, that heifer that wins that very first class, uh, May, June class, uh, well, there's one that uh, for that age, just, uh, it was pretty commanding in that class for me as far as the way she gets out and goes in the ring. I, you just on the move. She bounces up really, really well. I think that heifer's got a bright future. I, I think that one is uh, pretty, pretty unique in the way she's constructed, with a lot of shape and 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 still with a good chisel look about her. Um, you know, there's at times you know maybe compared to these older heifers, she's you know she could you know she's a little shorter body maybe, but but I think everything fits on that one. Yeah, a little domineering heifer wins that next one. A heifer that's probably as unique featured as one that's out here. I mean, that neck comes up high out of those blades. She's pretty chiseled about her chest floor. She's got a lot of shape and true rawness up over her top and her hip. And 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 to me, you know, she's still, you know, is probably as fresh as any heifer of these class winners. Still proportions really well. We commented in class. There's at times I, you know, her shoulder structure, the way it blends into her. Uh, you know, I, I think she's handling it really good right now. Uh, you know, as far as bone and, and everything else like that standpoint, I think she's really, really good. She still, you know, when she locks it into place, she gives you that look. But she's right now got plenty plenty of flex I think you can stand back and say well boy this one there's there's that time she she looks like she can be get a little bit straight for you but I mean you talk about just power look and presence uh I think that one's pretty commanding an effort wins that next one just softness and once again a lot of hip shape a lot of top shape foot size and bone you know I think you know just like a couple of the others I you know she fits well together there's at times I probably you know I I, I don't think it's a major concern but you could straighten up that rear passenger just ever so slightly and I think as she stands today that's one of just a few things you'd like to critique about her the redneck heifer we just that won that last class uh, good built lover top line lover design probably when you get her back out here there's at times I if I'm going to just nitpick on her just a little bit I could add just a little bit more foot size of that bone structure she's got but that's being awfully awfully picky guys I think this is an awesome set of heifers I'm going to give them another good look pick you a pair of champions and let's give these kids another round of applause
Well, we have the results in both ring one and two out of your first divisions. We're going to get started with ring one. We have the results of your first division in your Horned Hereford show. Your champion goes back number 30796, Hawk Murphy, 14JET, exhibited by Kinnick Paulson, Preston, Iowa, and bred by Hawk Livestock of Earlville, Illinois. Reserve champion in Division One here in your Horn Show. Went to back number 30770, Bart PSC SCC Rosebud 1025 ET, exhibited by Braley Carr, Alba, Texas, and bred by Perry Show Cattle, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Once again, congratulations to those exhibitors. In ring one, we'll get started with class five. Horn Junior Heifer Calves, born February 1st through February 25th, 2021. Back over here in the limousine side, we have the results of Division One. Your champion came out of Class 5. Champion was DEBV, Jennifer Aniston, 145J, exhibited by Dalton Miller of Trainor, Iowa. And reserve champion came out of Class 6. CELL 1117J, exhibited by Kinley Collum of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Now in ring two is class seven, your first class here in division two.
body's going to be out there. There's right. going to be You're going to take much yard. So then you're going to be first, and then you're going to be second, you're going to be three, four. Just stay in line. Go ahead and bring it back to center of the ring. But I think the third verse is where he's at where he needs to be. I know how that Back on our Hereford side, we jump right into our first class of February's in a new division, and uh, wow, what a good set of cattle. Uh, boy, there's just a lot of, uh, I, I guess, females for me in this class that just put a lot of good together. Uh, maybe not just one or two particular ones that are just domineering in any one area, but just a lot of really, really good ones. The, the one that's going to lead off, guys, I just simply think she's the most complete fault-free heifer within this particular group. She's good at the ground. She's good up through her chest and her head and her neck. She's balanced out of her top line and her hip. She ties into herself really, really good. She's got enough shape over that loin edge. She's got enough shape down low. When you get in behind her, she square off of both ends, gets out and goes extremely nice. That's a good place to start. A little longer body, longer fronted longer hip heifer ends up being second but she gives up too much in that lower one third when you get off on that three quarter view of this heifer she flattens out a little more in that four rib she flattens out and bottoms out a little bit quicker in that rib uh, in that rib turn into her body cavity but she's great at the ground I love her length I like her freshness I think that's an awfully good heifer with a lot of future and, and, and I probably that's that was my big determining factor I like the length in this one maybe versus the one uh, the completeness but I, I just got to see just a little bit more spring and pop a really stout commanding heifer on the stand still comes in third big top big hip big bodied bold high performing type of a female square off of both ends at times I think she comes up just a smidgen short when I set her into motion off of that hind leg tail head and hip kind of gets a little bit more inverted she wants to come up and run downhill uh, she pushes just a tad bit more chest <clears throat> than the two heifers right in front of her but uh, I just want to bounce her out a little bit more drive her off of that back end just a little bit truer and freer I mean, I think that's an awfully good one big stout good one uh, the heifer coming in next is one to me that gets, and, and, and at times this young man does a great job showing this thing, and he gets everything out of her. Uh, she gets a little bit flatter in the lower one-third of her body. She's a little, you know, rounder, maybe not quite as unique up through her, through her head and her neck as those ones right in front of her. But I think that's a heifer that's awfully, awfully good. Next heifer is one that just flattens out a little bit more. Good design, good silhouette, flattens out in her muscle shape to get around those heifers right in front of her. <clears throat> Next heifer in line, probably for me, is just your lower one-third. She gets a little flat in that full rib, in that rib cage. She's got some shape when I get in behind her. She's got a good design, good at the ground. She just gets too concave in her fore rib. Next heifer line's got that three-dimensional look, got a lot of rib, got a lot of shape, gets a little bolder about her chest and her head and her neck, doesn't bounce up quite as well. A little that real nice made heifer comes in next, just gets a little tighter off of both ends, a little flatter in the way she's built. I know she's a little tighter haired than some of the other ones, a little more compact, but it's still a high-quality female. Another a, a good one comes in next as far as the one that the skeleton design. She just comes at us a little greener and a little rawer today. A young lady rounding out the class. One that just gives up too much balance and symmetry and internal dimension, but a tremendous amount of length of body and length of hip, and you got to like that about her. A good group. That's a solid set of February heifers from top to bottom. Well, back over here in the limousine ring, we have the results from class seven. First place went to Jack Cutter Sullivan of Groveton, Texas with SC Juliet 471J. Second place went to Olivia Robbins, Chattanooga, Oklahoma with CHR Jules 011J. Third place exhibited by Lainey Woodall of Pattonville, Texas with DLC and Jingle 218J. Fourth place exhibited by Minor Limousin of Stratford, Missouri. Fifth place was exhibited by Tristan Gulata. Sixth place, exhibited by Trace Falkenstein. Seventh place, exhibited by Jetley Smith. For those of you that are following along in your limousine book, placings read down as follows in class seven. Seven, six, two, five, one, four, scratch, three. Currently in ring two, we have class eight here in division two. Back over in the Hereford ring, we have the results from our last class in your horn division, class five. First place was exhibited by back number 30832, Hawk Remy 4JET, exhibited by Hayes Devine of Chickasha, Oklahoma. Second place, exhibited by back number 30830, HHG Ansley 102ET, exhibited by Mark Kipton Lofton of Wesson, Mississippi. Third place, exhibited by back number 30831, Clancy Sweatman of Easton, Illinois. 
fourth place was exhibited by back number 30834, GGSC Kiwi 4JET, exhibited by Ian Garrett Forbes of Churchville, Maryland. Fifth place, exhibited by Marilyn Petra of Mena, Oklahoma. Sixth place, exhibited by Aubrey Rakestraw of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Seventh place, exhibited by Addison and Jalen Kuntz of Thomas, Oklahoma. Eighth place in that class, exhibited by Mason Jones. Ninth place, exhibited by Ben, Will, and Thomas Frecking. And tenth place in that class, exhibited by Carolyn Johnson. Currently in ring one, we have class six, Horn Junior Heifer Calves, born January 5th to January 28th, 2021.
another class or okay, can you take half to do with your ears to make them better? But from my part of the world, we use that one with little ears. He's a survivor, in my opinion, so I like that. And her brother would have had some maternal characteristics, I would assume. But she's got a little more power, a little more dimension over the next two heifers coming out. They're very good, complete heifers. I like the, the balance of that one. Just doesn't have enough to her. Enough size. The next heifer, very feminine in terms of her front end. Got to change her hind leg structure. But again, very, very nice class in the leading females. Back on our Hereford side, that uh, boy, here's a commanding class of uh, January Horn Hereford heifer calves. Uh, and, and to me, I, this, this class here runs, um, you know, five, six, seven deep, a really, really good cattle and what they all bring to the breed and to what they bring and show us today. Uh, the heifer that's going to lead off, I think she commands this top uh, uh, four heifers in the simple fact of, of, of dimension and that three-quarter view and, and just what I like to call that, that, that just a little bit more of that 3D look. She's got a little bit more turn to that rib. She's got a little more shape to that forearm. She's got a little more shape up over her loin edge. She's got a little more spread when you get in behind her. She commands at the ground and foot size and bone. Still combines that with chest and, uh, you know, and up through her head and her neck. And her neck comes high out of those blades. And there is that times, you know, and guys, when we all do this, we all see these cattle and we want those necks to come up high. But sometimes when those necks come up high, those shoulder blades rock a little forward. forward and her does, and her does just to a slight degree but outside of that she's a pretty commanding heifer I really like this one that comes in second flat shouldered very maternal so proportional in the lower one third of her body I love her squareness her freshness uh, I just I think she just flattens out a little bit more for me today compared to that class winner outside of that she rivals her in overall quality and power uh, but I think I, I just want to just give her just a little bit more pop and flare to that forerib and maybe just bring that tail head back down into her a little bit better. The heifer that comes in third is one that she too, just like the one right in front of her, very smooth design, flat shouldered, very angular, very feminine, extended up through her front end, really commanding on the ground. She too just flattens out a little bit more. She flattens out in that forerib and that rib cage and her muscle pattern, especially compared to our class winner, but I, I still think that's a high, high quality female. Here's one here that in fourth, and at times I think she can give you a really really good look and then there's at times I, I think she kind of gets a little bit uh, partial as far as that lower one third of her body she's great in her lines ultra long bodied long hip extended just like those three right in front of her I don't think she blends into that shoulder four rib juncture quite as well as those ones right in front of her good heifer comes in fifth and young man this is, this is a high quality heifer no doubt in, in relation to her frame and her a in, in, in her overall body composition she's thick she's stout but she just gets a little too compact and a little too low to the ground for me compared to those four heifers in front of you that just excel in overall length and, and extension Heifer coming in next, good in her line, young lady. You do a great job presenting this one. She gets a little tighter in that rear flank attachment and just kind of, for me, she just, that rib cage just dives into that body cavity a little bit quicker than I'd like to see. Young lady's heifer coming in next, a little bit of balance for me. Uh, shoulders come out. She's not as coordinated in that shoulder juncture and that fore rib. Uh, lays down a little bit lower in those pins. Just doesn't bounce up. But foot size and bone and got some good parts and pieces. This next heifer is really, really stout. And I know this heifer was giving this young lady some fits. And I think that'll help us more time in the ring. I, I, this, this thing is stout and powerful. She's just a little coarse for me about her head and her chest and her neck. Comes at me a little more in pieces, but there's a lot of neat parts to that one. Young ladies rounding out the class. Guys, that's still a really, really good female. She just comes at us a little bit flatter and a little bit more narrow some, than some of those other heifers, but still got a lot of quality as far as soundness and length. Good set from top to bottom. That's a nice set of heifers. Well, congratulations in Class 6, Horn Junior Heifer Calves. First place went to back number 30847, BKCMCC Jungle Fever 146JET, exhibited by Kinley Daly of Kingston, Oklahoma. Second place exhibited by back number 30845, Perks 1502, Mary Jo 1002ET, exhibited by Taylor Boatman and Thomas Boatman of Rockford, Illinois. Third place, exhibited by back number 30852, C. Essential Gal, 1052, exhibited by Randy June Williams, Dublin, Texas. Fourth place, exhibited by Scotland Hatton of Ada, Oklahoma. Fifth place was exhibited by back number 30841, Will Fracking Alpha, Minnesota. Sixth place was exhibited by Cameron Oaks and Kimlin Oaks of Tologa, Oklahoma. Seventh place was exhibited by Madison Katzenberger. Eighth place exhibited by 
Connolly, Addison, and Davis Ward, Oak Grove, Missouri. In ninth place was exhibited by back number 30853, Madison Ori of Indianoma, Oklahoma. Currently in ring one, we're bringing in your first and seconds to select a horned champion and reserve junior heifer calf. Back over here in the limousine ring, we have the results of class eight here in division two. First place was exhibited by Kel Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma, with LJRJ CSVN Miss Jalara. 711J. Second place exhibited by Kaylee White of Woonsocket, South Dakota with TASF Jerica 492J. Three pl third place was exhibited by Bentley London, Collinsville, Texas with BNTL Java. Fourth place exhibited by Ben Spencer of Gibbon, Nebraska. Fifth place was exhibited by Carly Mae Harris of Lawton, Oklahoma. Sixth place was exhibited by Allison McCarley of Gerard, Kansas. Seventh place was exhibited by Ella Elizabeth Snyder, Fort Scott, Kansas. Eighth place exhibited by J.C. Smith of Decatur, Arkansas. And ninth place in that class exhibited by Caitlin McKenzie Ayers of Gary, Texas. Now in ring two, our judges evaluating class nine here in division two. Well, guys, our second division here in our Herford Her Her show. At, uh, uh, man, uh, what a great set of January, February these kids brought us. Let's give our class winners and our seconds a nice round of applause. They, they sure deserve it. This, this was, a per, you know, two pretty commanding classes from top to bottom. And, you know, that's, you know, it's always why for decades and decades the Hereford breed has been so stout and powerful. And it's just, you know, we, we just hit the tip of the iceberg in these first two divisions. Uh, and, and, wow, what, what a set of cattle we've seen so far. Uh, you know, in, in this particular duo of class winners, you know, we got two that uh, I, I think that uh, – that, that, match up quite well you know we, we you know for me I, I like sticking to my guns I, I like these cattle to be good at the ground I like them to get them out, out and go and I want some balance I want some symmetry and I want some shape uh, but still keep it in a fresh enough package and some look and some style and balance and I think we found that in these two class winners uh, the heifer that won that first class you know it won I, I thought within that class there was a lot of really good heifers that heifer's just super complete you know she's not as maybe commanding featured as maybe that one that's right behind her but she's so well balanced and proportional in the way she's built and that's why she won that class you know the heifer that wins that next class maybe a little more domineering you know there was a you know three four heifers in there in that particular class that uh, were pretty commanding you know especially as far as foreign Hereford females that add a lot of quality to the breed the heifer that ended up winning in that class just simply had that more three-dimensional look she had a little more shape up high and down low she expands that with tremendous amount of full rib and and and, and lower spring to that rib cage then it commands it up through her chest and her head and neck and, and just puts a lot of good things together our respective seconds I, I think are also very similar heifers in the simple fact you know they've got a lot of length and extension and smoothness and balance but uh, uh, to me that are a lot of quality I think these are four exceptional heifers I'm gonna give them another good look and pick you a pair of champions reward these kids with a Nice round of applause, please.
Well, congratulations over in ring one results of your junior heifer calf division. Here in your junior Horton Herford show, champion goes to back number 30847, BKCMCC Jungle Fever 146JET, exhibited by Kinley Daly, Kingston, Oklahoma, bred by Buck Cattle Company, Medill, Oklahoma. In reserve in that division, went to back number 30832, Hawk Remy, 4JET, exhibited by Hayes Divine, Chickasha, Oklahoma, and bred by Hawk Livestock of Earlville, Illinois. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Currently in ring one, we have class seven horn senior heifer calves, born November 17th through December 19th, 2020. And then back over here in the limousine side, we have the results of Class 9 here in Division 2. First place went to Hadley Hendrickson of Farmland, Indiana with M-D-A-Y, Miss Valley Apple E-T. Second place went to Tyra Mayer of Sylvan Grove, Kansas with W-L-R-J-W-O-W 905 E-T. Third place went to Brockfried, Fairbury, Illinois. Fourth place was exhibited by Tacey Baker of Tecumseh, Oklahoma. Fifth place was exhibited by Carly Favor, Marshfield, Missouri. Sixth place exhibited by Turner Sanders of Huntington, Texas. Seventh place exhibited by Katie Thomas, Winfield, Kansas. Eighth place exhibited by McKenna Cleveringa of Alton, Iowa. And ninth place exhibited by Paige Bayer of Griswold, Iowa. Now currently in ring two, we're selecting your division two champion reserve. Nice trio of females here in this fall class that uh, to get our new division going. Symmetry, balance, soundness. Good uh, just a good complete heifer to win this class. I mean, she's pretty commanding at the ground within this group. I just love her balance and her symmetry and her just overall just look and style. A heifer that still got that three-dimensional look and still fresh in relation to her age. High quality heifer. A little longer body, longer hip heifer, commanding as far as power and dimension. But for me, she gets a little plainer about her chest and her neck. And with that added length, I could see just a little bit more drop and turn to that rib cage, just a little bit harder and truer. But that's a stout featured, big footed, big bone stout one. Just maybe gives up a little little bit of balance and symmetry. Good outline heifer comes in third. Doesn't have quite that dimension that we're looking for in, like in those two heifers in front of her. Good neck, pretty outline, just doesn't have quite the uh, overall dimension. Good set of heifers, good balance one there on the top side.
Well, we have the results of Division Two over here in your limousine show. Champion goes to Kelton Arthur, Stillwater, Oklahoma, with LJRJ CSVN, Miss Jalara 711J, and reserve champion will go to Hadley Hendrickson, Farmland, Indiana, with MDAY, Miss Valley Apple ET. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Now in rank two will bring in class 10 here in division three. Back over in the Hereford ring, we have the results of class seven Horn Senior Heifer Calves. First place went to back number 30855. B and C missed mighty option 0126H exhibited by Abby Burkham of Miami, Texas. Second place went to back number 30858. ARD91 Nala. K2H exhibited by Shelby Seamer. And third place went to back to number 30859. MCKY Veda0980 exhibited by Hayden Thompson of Kenton, Oklahoma. Back on our Hereford side. Nice duo here in this October class of uh, Horn Hereford heifers. That, uh, two heifers that maybe just a little bit different in their type and kind. The one that I think commands this duo is the one that's the most flexible. She's the most maternal, most extended heifer, especially up through her front end. You know, and like for me, I, I am a little bit of a power guy. I, I think we give up a little bit of muscle shape and, and just true rawness in, in as far as muscle volume to this heifer here in second. But I think what we gain is flexibility, flatness and smoothness and balance and quality uh, from that standpoint. And I think she's the one you got to tie into in this duo. Young lady, I like the width and dimension down this heifer's top. She's explosive up out of her hip and carries it down low with some added length I, I'd like to just maybe turn that lower rib just a little bit harder and chew her outside of herself but where she gets beaten in this class of this duo she's just not as flexible off of both ends as a, the heifer that leads off but good set nice pair of heifers Well, congratulations over here in the limousine ring. We have the results of class 10. First place was back number 7346. Correction on that back number is 7106. Brittany Wilkerson, Canton, Texas with PWBW Prima 2508HET. Second place in that class exhibited by Sadie Claire Cartwright, Gary, Texas with DLCN Halley 129H. Those following along in your book, it reads 1-2. We're now going to bring in class 11 over here in your limousine ring. This will be your second class here in Division 3. Back over here in the Horn Hereford ring, we have the results of class 8. First place was exhibited by 30869 BACC 228Z Tara 054ET. Exhibited by Landry Allen. And second place goes to back number 30868. BK Homebody 0071 HET. Exhibited by Morgan Brewer of Mountain Vernon, Arkansas. Currently in ring one, we have class nine Horn Senior Heifer Calves. Born August 12th through September 24th, 2020.
We'd like to remind all of our exhibitors and spectators that this is your last chance to purchase a corner post ticket to win a heifer donated by the Lawrence Family Limousines. Find a junior board member to purchase yours. Once again, this is your last chance to purchase a corner post ticket to win the heifer donated by the Lawrence Family Limousine. Well, congratulations in class 11. Results are first place back number 7108. Back number 7108 exhibited by McKenna Richardson, Eureka, Kansas with Ratliff Purple Harmony. Second place was exhibited by Weiss Limousin, Wellsville, Missouri with WLR Honky Tonk 191H. And third place exhibited by Carly Favor, Marshfield, Missouri with ELCX. Highness 056 HET. Now coming in ring two will be class 12 here in division three.
Spectators up in the stands for the limousine ring. Placings read one, two, three for class 11, one, two, three. Well, if uh, this class don't get your uh, blood boiling, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you, guys. I mean, wow. Uh, set of September Horn Hereford females here that, uh, <laughs> that are really good, uh, I, you know, from top to bottom. Uh, this, is, this, is a, this is a good, challenging deal. And, man, you get to come in and, 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 and sit here and evaluate. And, boy, this, this makes you uh, step back and really start to analyze because you, you got to put your thinking cap on when you're going to line these things up here. Uh, the, the pair of heifers that go one and two are, are probably the commanding heifers in the class for me. As I, as I broke them down, uh, I think these two heifers are pretty exceptional as far as uh, a little extra bells and whistles. Both of these heifers are extremely good at the ground. They get out and go extremely well. I think their shoulder blades lock back into them. Their, their, the flexibility in their joints are all good. They, 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 I like their foot size and then as far as their bone. The big difference between them is a young man's heifer that's going to lead off. There's just simply a little bit more real heifer here. I, I don't, I, I, she's had a little more true shape up over her top. She's bolder and truer in that lower part of that fore rib. She commands it a little bit better and truer and bolder back into that rear flank attachment. Uh, I, I don't know if she's exquisitely built over her top line as my heifer that's in second. But I think the big determining factor, do you give up a little bit of flash to get a little bit more substance? And that's what we did in this particular duo. The dark red heifer that comes in second is one that's pretty commanding and this young lady gets all the good out of this heifer right here. So good about the lay of that shoulder and her chest and her head and her neck. I love her silhouette over her top. I love this heifer. She still balances well up on the move. The big determining she just gives up just a little bit more in that lower fore rib and that lower turn of that rib cage outside of that. I mean, that's an awesome, awesome pair of heifers. On the standstill, this is a pretty commanding heifer that comes in third. I think she's big top. She's big hip. I, I like the way her, she's designed. I set her into motion, and, and, and she just can't rival those ones that are right in front of her. She comes up just a little bit shorter off of both ends, but, man, she's big hip. She's, she's just beautifully in the way that she's designed. I love the real natural product and her freshness, I just got to get her to go just a little harder and truer to get those ones. This next pair of heifers I, I think are intriguing. And the big determining factor here, and these two girls get all the good out of these heifers here, so my compliments to both of you young ladies there. But to me, there, there's a little fr more freshness. There's a little more real product over the top line and hip and the heifer that comes in next. She gives up some belly and some bottom to that heifer that goes right behind her. But the heifer that comes in next, probably for me, I, I, at times I, I just want to freshen her up. She's a little flat her muscle pattern, awesome built, it's good design. Young man's heifer rounding out the class, just doesn't have that extra balance and symmetry, a lot of product, good quality cattle though, uh, good set of heifers from top to bottom. Well, congratulations over here in ring one. We have the results of class nine, first place, exhibited by Blake Bruins of North Platte, Nebraska. 
with H. Pixie 0635ET. Second place exhibited by Vivian Lou Thomas of Troy, Alabama with EXR Elise 0099. Third place was exhibited by back number 30873, C. Bailey Vailer, 0346 ET, exhibited by Piper Collier. Fourth place was exhibited by 03878, exhibited by Sarah Rimple of Athens, Texas, with CEC Vindictor, 0306 WET. Fifth place exhibited by back number 30882, Aubrey's Vienna, 40546H, exhibited by Abigail Pitsick of South Saloon, Ohio. And sixth place went to back number 30876, TR Harley 2H303, exhibited by Carter Thomas of Purcell, Oklahoma. Now coming in ring one are your first and seconds of our senior heifer calf division. Well, folks, if you could, here's our fall division in our Horn Hereford Heifer Show this morning. Give these kids a nice round of applause on an awesome set they brought us. This, this division, I know our first two classes didn't have a whole lot in them, but we got two class winners out here that I think are really, really good. December Heifer, just a good practical heifer. A lot of, just to me, I, very, very fault-free. Does she, you know, is she as uniquely built as some of the other heifers out here? Probably not. She's got some shape. She's got some dimension. She's sound. She's still attractive enough. Good quality heifer. Heifer wins that next one. A really sharp, feminine type of a female that puts a lot of a really good skeleton design, flexible look, style, and balance. Maybe not as powerfully built as those two heifers on the other side. Heifer wins that last class. Really, a really commanding class. And, and in my opinion, uh, that was one of the most challenging that I've seen. Uh, I, you know, and you know, I made this comment yesterday. You know, showing showing cattle and showing livestock. It's a day that you can have dreams come true and dreams that just get put on hold. And I know, and, and to me, watching those kids fight and, and claw in that particular class is 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 what really fires me up about doing all this in this industry. Is those kids come out here and this morning and, and they're fighting for that chance to get out of banner. And we only can give out two of them in each division. So I and so I know there were some kids that were disappointed within that particular class. So that's part of it. They'll keep moving on and and do it. When you got this kind of quality, especially out of that class, uh, uh, it was it was pretty impressive in my standpoint. So with that, uh, I won't take any more time. Our champion's going to come out of a. The third class, he'll be our division champion. Young lady that was second will be our reserve division. Congratulations. Well, congratulations over here in your Horn Hereford ring. We have the results of your senior heifer calf division. Champion goes to back number 30880H Pixie 0635ET, bred by Hoffman Hereford, Thedford, Nebraska, and owned by Blake Bruins of North Platte, Nebraska. Reserve champion in that division, exhibitor. 
30881EXR, Elise 0099, bred by Express Ranches, Yukon, Oklahoma, and owned by Vivian Lou Thompson of Troy, Alabama. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We'll now bring in Class 10 Horn Late Summer Yearling. Back over in ring two, we have the results of class 12 in your open limousine show. First place, exhibited by Carter Cornegie, Tulsa, Oklahoma, with TASF GVAF Hina. Second place in that class went to Claire Kessler, Crawfordsville, Indiana, with TASF High Class 462 HET. Third place, exhibited by JC Smith, Decatur, Arkansas, with Auto Hope ET. Fourth place, exhibited by Cole Lewis, Anderson, Missouri, with Auto Honor ET. Fifth place, exhibited by Kendall Spriggs of Afton, Oklahoma. For those of you sitting in the stands for our limousine show, Class 12, placings are as follows. Three, one, four. Next page, two, five, scratch. Currently in ring two, Class 13, here in Division Three. Back on our Hereford side, uh, just a single entry to young lady brings us a June female. What a lot of power this one sure represents. She's awfully wide up over her top, widely constructed when you get in behind her. A lot of width and dimension in the lower one third of her body still commands it off the ground. Still gives you a nice look when she pulls it all together. High quality female to be uh, represent this class for this division. Heifer that could sure stand a lot of competition. Well, congratulations. Back over here in your Hereford ring, we have the results of Class 10, first place, back number 30883, PLCCCWP, Rhonda 0129H, bred known by Caddy Piper of Zurich, Kansas. Now in ring one, we'll bring in Class 11, Horned Early Summer Yearlings, born May 2nd through June 11th, 2020. Well, congratulations over here in class 13. We have the results from division three, first place exhibited by Peyton Glimes in Sylvester, Georgia. Second place exhibited by Peyton Cole. Third place was exhibited by Tyra Meyer. 
Fourth place exhibited by Dylan Young. And fifth place in that class exhibited by Ty Freed. For those of you following along in your books for class 13 in the limousine show, placings are as follows. Five, one, two, three, scratch, four. Now coming into ring two will be class 14 here in division three. What an outstanding class here in uh, this, this May class of uh, Horn Hereford females. Uh, guys, I, I wanted to uh, take a boy. I mean, boy, step back and look at these three females here. You talk about for the breed, just some true, true raw cow power right here. Uh, th th this is pretty impressive. Uh, Probably the, you know, the, and to me, it, the, the, where you got to tie into this awesome set of three here is the young lady's heifer. I think where she has the biggest advantage, she's easily the freshest up through her chest and over her top line and her edges. That's where she excels the next two heifers, in my opinion, right off the bat. She's great at the ground. She's smooth and so, so uh, complete over her top line and her hip. She bounces up well. Is she as domineering in the lower one-third of her body as maybe the next two heifers in relation to their frame? Maybe not. Maybe not but does she have plenty oh yes she does she's good in that four rib she has plenty enough shape there uh, I, I think one that's from a leanness standpoint smoothness and, and presentation I think that's that's where you got to go uh, I, I really like this next pair of heifers as far as moderation and softness and power and dimension but I'd like to freshen them up a little bit compared to my class winner the heifer that comes in second is a little more commanding on the move obviously than my heifer that's in third I, I think she's pretty domineering there she still bounces up so well and I I like this heifer tremendously, and she's presented at a high level. If I could just freshen her up just a smidgen, I think I could push my class winner just a little harder and truer. But that's an awfully, awfully good one. Young lady, you've done a great job with this one. You present her to a high level. When I set her into motion compared to those top two heifers, she's a little bit more tied up in that shoulder and that knee. She's not quite as flexible up out of her hip. And what it really is, she's a little more tied up in the middle part of her sign, spine so she doesn't just drive off of both ends quite as free as easy. Now on the standstill she's big top big hip big and bold through the middle part of her body she's square off of both ends and for a heifer packing that much punch she's still good about her chest and her head and her neck it's a high quality female we just got to get her to go just a little harder and truer off of both ends a heifer coming in next very tall long extended heifer needs a little bit more lower dimension but there's some good things about that one heifer coming in a pair of heifers coming in next a little more moderate a little more toned down as far as their overall performance took a little bit uh, more smoother made heifer to come in next gave gave up a little bit of muscle shape to the young lady rounding out the class uh, just a uh, heifer to me just needs a, a shot more lower one third and a little more balance and symmetry a good group nice trio there on the top side 
Well, congratulations in class 11. First place goes to back number 30894, Purple Bindi 87HET, exhibited by Catherine and Tyler Coleman of Modesto, California. Second place went to back number 30893, Hawk Rose 31HET, exhibited by Hayes Devine of Chickasha, Oklahoma. Third place was exhibited by Carlisle Brayman with MCKY Gwen 0971ET. Fourth place was exhibited by Carly Thomas of Purcell, Oklahoma with FTZS NOLA 011H. Fifth place exhibited by Cameron and Kylan Oaks of Tologa, Oklahoma. And sixth place exhibited by Brooke Bain of Lawton, Oklahoma. At this time, we're bringing in your first and seconds to select a champion reserve intermediate yearling female. Selecting our intermediate champion here in our Horn Hereford female show at, uh, uh, you know, wow, you know, the young ladies June Heifer was a single entry and if you step back and just analyze this, this division as a whole, boy, there's, you talk about just raw cow power, uh, you know, we got a trio of females out here competing for two spots that are, that are sound, functional, got a little bit more punch to them as far as just internal dimension and muscle shape, skeletal prowess, uh, you know, that June Heifer, I, I think from her shoulders back, she rivals these two maize heifers. I mean, she's big and bold in that four rib. She's expanded up over from her hooks to her pins. She drives good and she's good footed and, and, and nice bone. She gets a little shorter neck and just a little plainer about her head construction as compared to maybe those other two. But man, I, I sure like this one and she's presented at a high level. I think that heifer's awfully good. The heifer that you know ends up winning that next class and I think you know within this division it it's, it's, it's her, works to her advantage. Her smoothness and freshness up through her front end, her lean this over her top line and still bounces up so well and, and probably the biggest advantage she's got is that extra length of spine, that extra length of hip and, and that adds to her smoothness and her balance and her symmetry. She's got plenty enough in that lower one third of her body in relation to that. Probably for me, she's the one you need to tie into in this division. She's going to be our division champion. Well, congratulations over here in ring one. Results of your intermediate yearling division champion went to back number 30894, Purple Bindi 87HET, exhibited by Catherine and Tyler Coleman, Modesto, California. 
Effort that comes in second and right behind her, it, it, you know, uh, one that's pretty commanding in, as far as presence and soundness and structural build. And, and probably still when I compare her to the June heifers, she's still probably a little sharper and truer up out of her hip. And she's probably a little bit still more elegant about her front end. Young man, you'll be our reserve division champion. And your reserve intermediate yearling female goes to back number 30893 Hawk Rose 31 HET exhibited by Hayes Divine Chickasha, Oklahoma. Now in ring one, we'll look to bring in class 12 Horn Spring yearling females born April 6th through April 30th, 2020. Back over in the limousine ring, we have the results of class 14. First place, exhibited by Callan Roy Kinder of Piedmont, Oklahoma, with CHR COBN Henley 124H. Second place, exhibited by Morgan Ramber of Huntington, Texas, with DLCN Halo 918. Third place in that class went to Josie Chandler with GETZ Holly 553H. Fourth place in that class was exhibited by Eliza Truel, Skytook, Oklahoma, with CHR Honey Bun 117H. And fifth place in that class exhibited by Tyler Baker of Dickinson, Texas. For those of you following along in your book, class 14, placings are as follows. Two, five, three, one. Next page, four. Currently in ring two, we are selecting your champion and reserve champion, division three.
Well, congratulations over here in your limousine ring. Your champion in this division goes to back goes to McKenna Richardson, Eureka Kansas with Ratliff Purple Harmony. And reserve in that division goes to Brintley Wilkerson, Canton, Texas, with PWBW Prima 250HET. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Now in ring two, we'll look for class 15. Jump right into this class of uh, late April heifer calves here in our Horn Hereford uh, division. It, uh, boy, uh, what an awesome trio of um, Her Hereford heifers here. Uh, once again, we talked about in that last division, we talked about raw cow power. The one that puts it all together for me as far as just power, freshness, look, style, and bounce, and refineness about their teat structure is the one that uh, leads off. I, I think she's so well balanced. She is robust right through the center part of her body as the next two heifers. Probably not, but does she have plenty and balance enough up, up through the lower one-third of her body? Yes, she does. Good shoulder. I think the top two heifers where they excel, that real powerful heifer that's in third, both of the heifers that go one and two are just constructed in their shoulder and the top side of their spine and blend into that forerib just a little truer and better than the real powerful one that ends up being in third. The complete one as far as freshness and refineness and just balance, she's got to be the one the young man leads off the class with. Commanding heifer comes in second. She too is awesome at the ground, bold through the center part of her body, big and wide when you get up into her uh, as far as her hip structure is concerned, still fresh enough. Just want to refine this one a little bit about of her teat structure and it maybe push that class winner just a little harder and truer, but I think that one's awfully, awfully good. That's a little bit nitpicky on that one. The heifer that comes in third is probably just a little bit uh, uh, not as fresh quite as the, I, I, I'm not going to call her fat by no means. She's not quite as fresh in her body condition as those ones right in front of her. She does push a little bit more chest, but that's all right because uh, she carries a tremendous amount of width and dimension through the center part of her body. She's commanding on the ground. I just don't think she balances up quite as well. On the move, she gets a little bit more discombobulated at the top side of her blades and doesn't blend into that fore rib quite as well. And I don't think she's as good and true from her hooks to her pins as those two heifers right in front of her. But young lady, you do a great job with that one. Good heifer comes in fourth, you know, and, and young lady, it's just a buzzsaw of a class. This guy's this is a good conventional female. She doesn't come at us with a whole lot of bells and whistles. She's plenty good enough at the ground. She's smooth. She's well balanced. She's just not as explosive in her overall design as those heifers right in front of her. But young lady, you got a nice heifer. Same thing goes for the young lady rounding out the class. A very angular, smooth made type of a female. She just gets a little one dimensional within this particular class. A little narrow in the way she's made, a little flatter in her rib and muscle design. But outside of that, that's a female that's got a lot of added quality and a lot of look, uh, but a good group. A trio of powerful females to lead off that class. Well, congratulations over here in ring two. Result to class 15. First place went to Josie Chandler with SHSK Monroe 2108GT. Now coming into ring two should be class 16. Back over in your Hereford ring, we have the results of class 12 Horn Spring Yearling Females. First place exhibited by Will Adcock, Bartlesville, Oklahoma with Willow 91. Second place in that class exhibited by Dylan Chaston of Danielsville, Georgia, with WSCC Breathless 12HET. Third place, exhibited by Hadley and Wyatt Dunklow of Wyatt, Nebraska, Wayne, Nebraska, with TRJPDL Georgia KH51ET. Fourth place was exhibited by Mackenzie Dobbs with PSC KGB Rosie Marie 0412ET. In fifth place in that class, exhibited by Ashton Gamble of Kenton, Oklahoma. Now in ring one, we have class 13, Horn Spring Yearling Females, born March 1st through April 3rd, 2020.
Well, congratulations in class 16 over here in ring two. Results first place goes to Colton Martin of Gerald, Texas with COBN Hennessy 022H. Second place exhibited by Torrance Spriggs Afton, Oklahoma with WB Hanna. Third place exhibited by Siddeley Portwood of Versailles, Kentucky. In fourth place, exhibited by McKenna Rubright. For those of you following along ringside for class 16 over here in your limousine ring, placings are as follows. Four, two, three, one, scratch. Next class in the ring is class 17.
think you're in the right spot. You need to be in too. November and fourth is just a big stout early number in a good way. She's got thickness and power. A little more masculine in terms of her neck and front end. A little bolder up there in her front in her, in her front shoulder. I like to pull her together just a little bit, but just boldness and power is I think why I just kind of liked her really well. We had her moved up a spot, uh, but again, kind of a female. Very nice neck pepper coming out here next. She's got some depth of her body, but she gets a little straight in terms of her front end. She lasers off of both ends from the movement. When it gets her set up to the side, she's very, very attractive and a nice kind of a female that we can sure like. But in motion is where we go ahead and get her to the, in terms of the place she's at here today. The next pepper coming out here again is a smooth sided, good bodied female, not quite as attractive in her neck and front end, a little flatter in terms of her muscle. But again, let me tell you, what an excellent class of any pepper. Back on our Herford side, a commanding class of April, March, junior yearling females here. And wow, what a nice pair of heifers here to go one and two in such a domineering class. Uh, we, you know, there's a little bit of give and take in these top two females. Uh, and, and to me, it, it gets to be just kind of uh, breaking them apart pretty hard. The young lady that's going to end up winning this duo, I think she's just a little bit more commanding when you set her into motion. And that's one of the big determining factors probably for uh, of this awesome set here. Uh, when you set them into motion, the lead heifer is just one that just drives and has a shot more flex in that rear hock. She just goes a little harder and truer out up at the top side of her hip. She's a little flatter and neater about that shoulder and her chest and her head and her neck. Yeah, she's, uh, you know, she's probably a little leaner. She probably is not carrying quite as much robustness and just overall center, center dimension power, but she balances up really, really good in the lower one-third of her body. Now, she gives up a little bit of spread up over her top and up over her hip in this powerful heifer that comes in second, but I think as far as smoothness, balance, soundness, and just overall completeness and freshness, she's got to be the one you tie into this duo. Uh, and in this close pair, I love this heifer that comes in second. Foot size and bone, she has the advantage. She's big time long hip, long uh, long spine, a heifer that to me, and guys, and this is getting it picky when you set these things into motion, she's just a little bit more hicked up in that, that, that hock and that hip, probably more so than our lead heifer, and it's just to the slightest degree. She's maybe not as unique up through her front end, but she carries a shot more power than our class winner, no doubt. I really, really like that pair of heifers extremely well. I, I think from a quality standpoint in our Her Horn Herford deal, that is, that, that is a tremendous, tremendous pair. Young man uh, that ends up being third, from the side, young man, you rival those top two heifers. Your squareness, your flatness, your goodness of uh, quality and balance and symmetry. When I get up on top of you and you're behind you, you probably flatten out just a shade bit more, carrying just a shot more condition than those top two heifers. But that gets awfully picky because you've done a great job. That's a beautifully presented female. I think she just flattens out, carrying just shot more condition. Maybe just not as unique as far as that is concerned compared to those top two females. But that's an awfully, awfully good one. Young man came in just a class a little bit late. But hey, that's all right that uh, here's a good complete heifer and then there's a lot of really good ones where she ends up being fourth in this class it's just pure composition and quality uh, over her top line and balance and hip and, and, and quality at the ground when you set her into motion she's not as unique up through that front end as maybe some heifers you know on behind, behind her or in front of her but from her shoulders back that's a good quality horn herford female power comes in next big bodied heifer that's very stout structured she gets a little bit more open at the top start of those blades and at the bottom side a little bit more unbalanced as far as that, that front end compared to some of those ones right in front of her. She runs downhill ever so slightly from the top side of that tail head back into that hip loin juncture we, so we could just balance her out just ever so slightly. A really fresh green heifer comes in next. Probably for me I, I just this heifer's got a really really good silhouette but for me she just gets a little bit too flat in her muscle pattern to get her any higher. She's presented at a high high level uh, and she's really good at the ground. With young man we could add just a little more flex in the center part of that spine too I, I, when we set her into motion. Young lady coming in next is one that's got a lot of foot size bone and power but she just doesn't have the balance and the symmetry that some of these other heifers have right in front of her. Young lady rounding out the class once again good quality livestock but just doesn't have that overall balance and symmetry to get her any higher. Good at the ground nice pair of heifers really really good duo there on the top side.
I like these heifers both really, really well. My champion is going to be the heifer right there in the middle of the middle of my skin back there on the bronze. I really think they're going to do a good job this week. Commanding division here at uh, April, March, junior yearling females here at, uh, oh, you got four heifers out here that uh, uh, anybody would be excited to own. Uh, you know, to me, that the, the, the two that came out of that first class, you know, they complement each other very well. They got some shape. They got some three-dimensional look about them. You know, maybe not, uh, you know, probably hit you right off the bat. Maybe not just overall as fresh as maybe the, the, the two right in behind them. But I, I think the young man's effort that won that class, of that particular duo, her, her refinement and her balance and her symmetry, uh, I, I just think is exceptional. And you pack on some power on that one. Uh, that, that powerful set that came out of that next uh, class, you know, at, uh, two that I thought were just exceptional in the way that they were built and their design, uh, their freshness, their quality at the ground, the refinement about their teach structure. Uh, I think they, you know, those two there just, just put a lot of good together. We went with a heifer that's maybe just a little bit more ultra up through her front end and just a tad bit more, you know, unique as far as her femininity qualities. And we did. We gave up just a shot, a little bit of power to get that to that young lady second one second for me at, uh, that was a pretty domineering class I'm not going to take much time any longer I'm going to keep those two pair of heifers together young lady that won that second class is going to be our division champion young lady that was second will be our reserve Well, congratulations. Over here in ring one, we have the champion of your spring yearling heifer division. Champion wins back number 30908, BR Gabriella 0142. We're known by Aiden Barber of Channing, Texas. And reserve champion wins back number 30917, BK Have Points 0508HET. Exhibited by Kinley Daly, Kingston, Oklahoma. Bred by Buck Cattle Company, Medill, Oklahoma. Currently in ring one, we have class 14, Horn Junior Yearling Females, born January 8th to February 27th, 2020. Back over in your limousine ring, we have the results of that last division. Champion went to Colton Barton, Gerald, Texas with COBN Hennessy 022H. And reserve champion went to Ava Hendrickson of Westmoreland, Kansas with Schilling Haley. For Class 17, those of you following along in the stands, Class 17 in the limousine ring, placings were as follows. Four, scratch, one, Next page, six, three, two, five. Currently in ring two, we have class 18.
Well, congratulations in Class 18. First place goes to Kylie Gaston of Eastland, Texas, with DL Hosanna 526 HET. Second place, Claire Dorsey of Witt, Illinois, with Legacies Halle Berry. Third place went to Torrance Spriggs of Afton, Oklahoma. Fourth place exhibited by Tenley Elmore. Fifth place exhibited by Tucker Parkinson. In sixth place in that class, Addison McCarley. Seventh place goes to Caitlin McKenzie Ayers of Gary, Texas. For those of you following along in your books in the limousine ring, for class 18, results are as follows. Three, six, seven, five, scratch, two, four, one. Now in ring two is class 19. What a class, what a class of February heifers here. At, uh, 
we're going to leave these two the, the way they are right here. Man, uh, just a uh, commanding pair of heifers within this class for me. Where they excel, I mean, they got a, just a shot advantage. And them next two heifers, as far as a little extra length of spine and length of hip. And uh, both of these heifers are tremendous at the ground. I, I like their body condition in relation to their age and where they're at as, as they come to us here today. Uh, you know, to me, uh, you, know, that, that's, you know, that's always of any big heifers, that's always a, a, you know, a unique trick of getting them, you know, just the right condition, that they still look, you know, powerful enough, but they don't look hard, and then not getting them over past 12 o'clock. So I think that's a little bit of a push within this particular duo. I think when we get up on them, there's just a little bit more width to spread down the top and up out of the top side of the hip of the young lady's heifer that's going to win. I think where also she excels is the top side of those blades. And, you know, I'm not one of those guys that's a front end, Frank, but she's more relaxed at how that neck comes up high out of the top part of that blade. And with that expansive hip, she still commands at the ground or foot size and her bone. I don't think she transitions quite as well in that shoulder, shoulder and that forearm as quite as well as my heifer that ends up being second. But she's packing just a tad bit more true punch right over to the top side of, of her hip loin juncture. Young man, this is a good one. She's great at the ground. Long hip, long and extended. She's still smooth and I'm being a little bit overcritical on how we evaluate those front ends and that neck and those shoulders. But I think when you get them this close and this good, you're going to have to nitpick them a little bit more. I think there's a little bit more true shot of muscle right into that heifer that leads off. I could change that and just add you a little bit more pop and flare from your hooks to your pins up high. And I, and I think that's the subtle differences between two awesome, awesome heifers. Good pair comes in next. Uh, probably for me, once again, there's a little more length and a little bit more upside of the top shape of this heifer that comes in third. I like that. She's got a big old loin edge in her, but she's still fresh enough up through her shoulder and her neck. These two heifers just don't rival our top two heifers as overall length and extension. So that's why they got to go three and four. But the third place heifer just excels. The, third, the fourth place heifer just simply in overall width and dimension up over our top and just commands a lot more stoutness when you get right in behind her. Young lady shows the wheels off of this heifer here in four and I really really like this one. She gets us a little bit shorter about her neck, a little plainer about her chest. She flattens out a little bit more in her muscle pattern at the back side of her shoulder through her hooks to her pins compared to that heifer right in front of you. That's about the only differences. Long bodied, uh, you know, here's a heifer that's awfully, awfully close to cabin and a good angled, flat shouldered, good and smooth made female. She too flattens out a little bit more. Tail head sets a little bit high up out of her body cavity so she doesn't balance up quite as well but uh, but there's one there that's getting ready to straight uh, you know get right into pr productivity heifer coming in next is one that uh, you know beautifully presented good in her lines probably doesn't have quite as much center dimension that uh, to get her a little bit higher but she's eloquent and in the way that she's made uh, good off the ground she strikes a pose and gives you an awfully good look I just want to see a little more three-dimensional look about her from her shoulders back the next heifer's big stout and powerful she gets a little plainer and coarser about her chest and her neck and with all that foot size and bone she has I get in behind her and I, I want to see a tad bit more true actual muscle shape a big rugged heifer comes in next big footed and big bone maybe a little coarser about of her shoulder and for one that's that big and stout and long I need a little bit more true arc to that little lower part of that rib cage heifer that to me is just a smooth elegant female she flattens out too much not a, it gets a little more more one dimensional doesn't have that 3d pop about her young lady rounding out the class hey that guys that's still a good heifer she's green she's fresh just a little harder for us and move her a little higher today but good skeleton design a good group nice pair of heifers on the top side of that class
but she had some pieces that you like. She's, she's very flexible, very loose in terms of her structure. But part of that looseness at times is kind of going here to work, work the hips or uh, her, what's open up on the top side of her shoulders. I almost think that one probably got a little too much extra set in terms of her career path here. I love her foot size, her bone, her power, a lot of things about her. Just uh, you know, kind of in her streaks and have to try to try to put on and put back together in terms of coming up in the front. But those three numbers are very, very nice. Uh, the next number coming out, I'm saying the buzzball class. I think one is she is uh, looks good. Single entry in our last division here on our Horton Hartford female side. Uh, uh, compliments to these young ladies here for bringing such a nice uh, senior yearling pair uh, heifer that's very angular in her design, very uh, structurally correct in, in all areas at the ground, up her top side of her spine and up out of her hip, the angle to her shoulder, so neat it's still good about of her chest and neck. Beautiful in her utter development and in her utter design with a strong calf at her side. Good moderate female doing the right things, high quality pair to win this division. Well, congratulations over here in your Hereford ring. We have the results from class 14 and your junior yearling division. Champion in first place in that class went to Piper Collier with C bar 11326 Bailey 0226 ET. Reserve in that division. Went to Grady and Hudson Carter Stratford, Oklahoma with BK Hot Points 0458 GT. And your champion senior yearling. Went to Atlee Kleinman with Corks ARK Grace 41001930 ET. At this time, we are going to bring in your champion reserves out of our divisions today in our Junior Horn Hereford show. Our judge, Mr. Lydell Meyer, will be selecting his grand and reserve grand champion, Horn Female. Back over here in the limousine ring, we have the results from class 19. First place exhibited by Ben Spencer Gibbon, Nebraska, with J6 Caitlin, 275 HET. Second place was exhibited by Mallory May Yokely of Moundville, Missouri. Third place was exhibited by Carly Sue Calderman of Garland, Nebraska. Fourth place exhibited by Callan Roy Kinder of Piedmont, Oklahoma. Fifth place exhibited by Braylon Schaefer, Hagerstown, Indiana. Two, not two, five. Yeah. Correction on that last class. We have a correction on class 19. Second place went to Braylon Schaefer, Hagerstown, Indiana. And fifth place was Mallory May Yokely. For those of you following along on class 19, placings are as follows. Two, five, scratch, five, two, scratch, one, three, four. Five, two, scratch, one, three, four. Currently in ring two, we have class 20. At this time, over here in ring one, we are bringing in all of your division champion in reserves, and our judge will be selecting his grand and reserve grand champion, Junior Horn Hereford Heifer, here at the Cattlemen's Congress.
Congratulations over here in class 20. First place, Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa, with DL Hush Money 502H. Second place, exhibited by Peyton Cullum, Guthrie, Oklahoma. And third place, exhibited by Kaylee White. For those of you following along, three, scratch, one, two. Now currently in ring two is class 21. Well, folks, over here on our Horn Hereford side, at, uh, boy, like Chad said, I, we boy sure appreciate some good music while we're out here. Uh, guys, impressive set of Horn Hereford females. Reward these exhibitors on a job well done with a big round of applause, please. Hey, guys, I, I mean, boy, you talk about tough division after tough division, and, and I hope once we get them all back out here, you can kind of, you know, sit back and, 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 and follow what I was doing and what I was seeing and what I was describing. You know, for me, I, I, I got to out here that I think are good at their ground. They're, they, they got some foot size that matches their bone. That, you know, cattle in relation to their age, in relation to their stage of productivity, they're still fresh enough. They're in the right condition. Uh, and, you know, and so all those factors in my mind and what I always try to do is just find, you know, it's always about balance and, 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 and you know, and not chasing any one trait and just keeping everything real and keeping everything together. And, and when we go from that top side of that, uh, that first division, you know, that, that Boy, I, I think that's a complimentary nice pair of heifers that came out of that first division. There's two heifers there that, in my opinion, got some body. They got some shape. Uh, they're both really good at their ground. They still got a good look about them. That was a pretty intriguing set. The next pair of heifers, and probably, in my opinion, within that division, probably didn't brag enough on that one that comes out of that division. I, I really, really like that one, guys. I mean, that thing is awesome at the ground. She, she commands uh, her, just attention within that particular division. Her hip structure, her ribs structure up through her chest and her front end and still to me puts a lot of the good things together. The, the pair of heifer fall heifers came out of a buzzsaw of a class. I mean, I, you know, and those two girls, I'll make no bones about it. They hit me pretty hard. I mean, there's two that are fresh. They're athletic. They're good looking. They're well constructed. Within that particular deal, we went with one that had a little bit more true power to her up over our top and a little bit down low, you know, and then we complimented her with that reserve, that dark red heifer that was just, you know, really up good up through her front end. So awesome in her skeleton design and at the ground. And she's still does have plenty enough lower rib. The pair of intermediate heifers, young lady came out of that deal with one that was fresh and long and smooth and ultra elegant. She maybe gives up a tad bit more muscle when you get back out of here. The young man that was reserving that division was one that was pretty commanding. That's as far as just power and dimension. We needed this shot fresh up. The next pair of uh, junior yearlings were ones that I liked extremely well. We ended up with one that was ultra fresh and still good out on the go. One that just put together so well through her chest and through her front end over her top line in her hip still balances up so much just puts so many good things together foot size bone and just overall balance uh, the next pair of heifers a pair of domineering heifers as far as power elegant you know just so awesome at the ground and with a little bit more punch maybe not the ultra attractive attractive heifers compared to some of the ones out here but they got the foot size they got the bone they got the athleticism we took one that had just a little bit more true shot of power up over our top and our, our single entry senior yearling division a high high quality pair that's doing a great, great job. Guys, this is an awesome set of lineup. I'm going to give them another good look and pick you a pair of champions. we got a lot of polls to look through. Uh, my compliments to all the Horn Hereford exhibitors and breeders. Reward these kids one more time with a nice round of applause on an awesome set, and I'll pick you a pair of champions.
Well, congratulations, your grand champion, Horned Hereford female, here at the Cattlemen's Congress in your Junior Hereford Show. Comes to you on a Class 9, Blake Bruins, North Platte, Nebraska, bred by Hoffman Hereford, Stedford, Nebraska, H. Pixie 0635. Back over here in your Hereford ring, your reserve grand champion, Horned Hereford female, exhibited by Aiden Barber, Channing, Texas, with BR Gabriella 0142. Congratulations to the Hereford exhibitors. We're going to take a brief photo break. We'll return back here in ring one with your pulled Hereford show in just a few minutes. We also have the results of your final division over here in your limousine show. I'm sorry, your second last division in your limousine show. Champion exhibited by Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa with DL Hush Money, 502H. And reserve in that division goes to Kyla Gaston of Eastland, Texas with DL Hosanna, 526HET. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We will now look for class 22 here in ring two. Congratulations in class 22 first place goes to Tucker Parkinson with LFL Goldilocks 9240G. Next in will be class 23, your final class here in your limousine show.
Congratulations in your final division here in your Limousin show. Your champion goes to Pinnegar Limousin of Springfield, Missouri with Auto Genevieve 284 GET and Reserve. Goes to Cole Lewis Anderson, Missouri with Auto Gwen 291 GET. Congratulations to those exhibitors at this time. We're going to bring in all of your division champion and reserves. Our judge will be selecting his grand and reserve grand champion, Limousin Female. Well, for those of you joining us ringside, as all of our division champion reserves are entering the ring, please put your hands together for our exhibitors here at the Limousin Medal of Excellence show here at the Cattlemen's Congress. Also, a special thank you to our judge today, Mr. Chad Holtkamp. At this time, we are also going to introduce to you your champion junior showman, champion junior showman, Ava Hendrickson, Westmoreland, Kansas. Congratulations to Ava. We also have the announcement of your herdsman of the year, herdsman of the year for the Limousin Association, Chase Ratliff. Westphalia, Kansas, congratulations to Chase. And now at this time, we will do the drawing for the corner post. And we have the result of the corner post drawing. Congratulations to Joel Edge of Iowa. Joel Edge, you are the winner of the corner post drawing. Congratulations.
Congratulations, your grand champion limousine female exhibited by Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa, DL Hush Money 502H. Congratulations, Sarah. Reserve in that division was exhibited by Kyla Gaston. And congratulations, your reserve grand champion female exhibited by Colton Barton, Gerald, Texas, with COBN Hennessy 022H. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We will take a brief photo break. We'll return back with your limbs and bull show.
Well, folks, uh, wow, what a commanding start right into our uh, polled uh, female show. And, uh, man, man, what a set of cattle we, we jump right into, especially on the top side of this class here. Uh, you know, these top four females, I think, are really good. There's a dynamic trio, I think, here on the top side. The one that puts it all together is the lady that leads off. I mean, here's one that's good at the ground. Foot size matches her bone, uh, and I think she's really, really good there. You combine that with that extra three-dimensional look and shape up over her top, and from her hooks to her pins and down low, she balances up nice in her chest floor back into that rear flank, that balance of that lower one-third of her body. She's got plenty of rib shape and matches her length of body and, and her overall power. She's extended up through her front end, high quality heifer to go there. The heifer with a tremendous upside in future ends up being second. Good foot size and bone. A little fresher and greener in this particular in this class today, but you can stand back and see the quality within this one. Super up through her front end. Beautiful in her lines and her design. I think this one, you know, it's, that's just one we all know you gravitate to, you know, put on feed and just wait till this one gets to be a big heifer and say, come get you some. But today she's just not enough of her to get around that one that leads off. Heifer that comes in next. Beautiful in her lines. I think when I compare her to that, that heifer that ends up being second, she's pushing a little more condition, a little plainer about her chest and her uh, throat, but one that is massive hip, guys. Big top, big hip, big body. I love her at the ground. That's a good one there. Get in behind that one, guys, and you, you'll see a heifer with a lot, a lot of meat. I just like to freshen her up a little bit through that front end compared to those top two heifers. like that one quite a bit. Young lady does a nice job with this one. Good silhouette, good at the ground. She flattens out in her forerib and her rib cage design for me to get her in those top three spots, but she's good up through her front end. She's good at the ground. She's got enough shape. I just want to change that rib cage design. Young lady coming in next one, maybe just not as well balanced as those heifers right in front of her. Uh, you know, probably for me, she just wants to clean out from the hooks to her pins a little bit more, a little plainer about her front end. Another one that's green and fresh from her shoulders back. This is an intriguing heifer, young lady. Good up in her lines and she's got a commanding presence out here when you get her stop. I wish I could just change her and tighten her up a little bit in her chest and her throat latch, but outside of that, from her shoulders back, that heifer is going to feed and be a commanding heifer later on as she gets bigger. The next pair of heifers are some heifers that are just a little greener in their kind and that's okay. Today's not their day. They're just out here getting on feed and getting things going. Good two pair of heifers. Good in their design. They got they got a nice look and they're extended up through the front end. They just need simply more time to develop and be on feed. Good set. A uh, nice uh, lead off heifer there to start the show. Well, congratulations and a good way to start out our Pulled Hereford show. First place goes to back number 30950, Gore Chevelle 396, exhibited by Fallon Gore. Second place went to back number 30948, exhibited by Paige Lemonager, Hudson, Illinois, with Hawk Myla 39JET. Third place went to back number 30946. Carlisle Brayman with MC Miss Mercedes 2155 ET. Fourth place exhibited by Addison Connolly and Davis Ward of Oak Grove, Missouri with Mav Blessed Emerson 180 IET. Fifth place goes to back number 30947 exhibited by Dyson Dunlap and Raylan Clemens of Elk City, Oklahoma with 3D745 Diamond 012. Sixth place in that class will go to Katie Peeper of Zurich, Kansas with PLCCCWP Silva 11546. And seventh place in that class, Chloe Toll of Burwell in Nebraska. Eighth place goes to Jaden and Jacob Thompson. Now currently in ring one, we have class 17, pulled spring heifer calves, born May 2nd to May 16th, 2021.
another awesome set of uh, May heifer calves here. Boy, here's a good group from top to bottom, no doubt. Uh, a little bit of give and take here on the top side of this deal. Uh, you know, uh, probably the one that maybe kind of commands and just maybe just a tad bit more show ready is the one we're going to gravitate to today. But I also think she's got some advantages as well, too. She's so naturally soft, deep, stick, uh, thick, and stout. Uh, you know, I'd like to extend her just to have that extension up through that front end, like maybe the next two heifers. But I think it's plenty good enough for me. I like her foot size and her bone. I like her mass. I, th I still think she's commanding at the ground. Uh, to me, today, she's the one you kind of got to latch into because she's just so stout and so soft and just three-dimensional. But yet, she's stout, but she I don't think she's uh, pushing too much condition, especially for a May calf. There's just a lot of real product there in a really, really nice package. And, you know, here we come again, a heifer that's in second in class, in my opinion, that is beautiful in her design, awesome at the ground, beautiful up through her front end, does have some real meat and muscle in her, maybe just a little bit greener today as she comes today. I think in relation to her maturity pattern and her overall size and development, she's still got good rib shape. I just don't see as quite as much dimension uh, quite in her as that one that leads off. Uh, but Heifer coming in third, I, I mean, th this one here is really, really good. Now, the thing is with this one for me, she just gets, when we set these girls into motion, I think she's not as domineering the way she drives out that hind leg. I think she flattens out a little bit more in the middle part of that rib cage as compared to those top two heifers. But I think that one's beautiful in her line. She's got some shape up high. I just want to see her just drive off that hind leg a little bit more. Here's a young lady that, that we just kept moving up. And, you know, once again, I told a kid there yesterday, he I pulled him like sixth, seventh uh, originally. He ends up being second in that class. Here's another situation of a heifer. I finally got a good look. The young lady didn't stop showing. This one's really, really good at the ground, and she she's in front of two really nice heifers as well. But where I like this one is her foot size and her bone. I like her movement. I like the way she puts everything together. She's not as robust through the center part of her body as maybe the ones right in front of her, but I think there's some real product, a real future. Love the foot size and the bone and the commanding presence up through her front end. This next pair of heifers, these two girls do a really, really nice job with. They're very long smooth-sided type of a females that are really flat-shouldered, good in their lines. They just get a little bit flatter in their overall muscle pattern, and that's where that one heifer just kind of excelled. And, and I think if you could add just a little bit more real shape and a little more turn as far as muscle and ribcage, you can move these girls a little higher. Both of them are really, really good at the ground. Uh, a solid, solid set of females. Uh, heifer coming in next is one that uh, I, I like her too. She's really square, good made, up through her front end. She gets a little bit shorter bodied, a little tighter in that fore rib compared to those ones in front of her. She just gets out horse in that regard. Young lady coming in next is one that uh, probably for me just uh, just gives up a little bit of just overall balance. She gets a little more discombobulated right in behind him shoulders and her spine on a standstill, a little flattened out in that stifle. Heifer coming in next is a really long extended female. Needs a shot more through the center part of her body. The young man coming next is just one that's a beautiful design. Just needs simply a little bit more product. Young man rounding out the class of heifer that's got some meat and muscle. Just doesn't have that center dimension and style and balance we need to get her any higher today but a good group nice trio there on the top side well congratulations in class 17 sprawl Hold Spring Heifer Calves. First place goes to back number 30967BF8426. Fancy like 1003ET exhibited by Chance Ward, Orlando, California. Second place in that class will go to back number 30955HawkMira36JET exhibited by Landon Dietzman and Colin Dietzman, Leesburg, Indiana. Third place goes to back number 30958, exhibited by Fallon and Gunnar Gore. Fourth place goes to back number 30964, MCM 8815F, Marley Jean 152J, exhibited by Madeline Grace Thompson. Fifth place goes to back number 30771, exhibited by Alexandria Rab Markle, Indiana. Sixth place, exhibited by Camden Crisp. Seventh place, exhibited by Peyton Ridley. Eighth place in that class, exhibited by Cooper and Jory Miller. Ninth place in that class, exhibited by Addison and Brody Wall. Tenth place, exhibited by Madison Ma Mason Roeder. And 11th place, exhibited by Taylor Mars. Now in ring one, we have class 18, Pold Spring Heifer Calves, born April 10th through April 28th, 2021.
Well, in ring two, we are ready to get started with your Limousin Bull Show. We'll be getting started with class 24. We'll be looking for two entries in this first class in your first division. Well, congratulations over here in ring two. Results of your first class, the Limousin Bulls first place goes to back number 7178. GCC Jamal 218 JET exhibited by Taylor Leanne Green of Crossville, Tennessee. Next class in will be class 25. Well, congratulations, class 25, first place goes to back number 7180, LAFO Jet Setter ET, exhibited by Harris Cattle Company. Next class in will be class 26 here in your first division of Limousin Bulls.
What a really good class. April's here from top to bottom. Uh, these kids bring us a, a really good set, and, and I wholeheartedly mean that. Uh, kind of a domineering heifer to lead off this particular class, obviously in foot size and bone and just overall mass and skeletal prowess. Big top and big hip, combines that with a unique look up through her chest and her front end. She's proportional in the lower one-third of her body. Big hip and, and one that just, I know this is, you know, a lot of these calves, it's probably their first big show. And so they're not just always wanting to just come out here and just do everything exactly right. And I know at times this young lady's fighting this one, but I, I think this one's awfully, awfully good. If I get nitpicky on her, there's just a little bit bit of uh, some tweaking I do right there in that front knee, but I think that one's awfully, awfully good. Boy, uh, this next pair of heifers here I, I think are really good, and they're a little, probably a little fresher, and a little, maybe a little more, uh, you know, toned down as far as this overall mass and power, but the advantage goes to the young man's heifer and length of body and length of hip, and just overall width when you get right up on top of her. I like her balance uh, from her shoulders back and the way she blends into herself. She's really good at the ground. She's elevated up through her chest floor and her head and her neck. High, high quality female. The heifer that comes in third I mean, here's one that's really good at the ground. She's square, good skeleton design. We just when I compare to that one that's right in front of her, she shortens up a little bit more in her hip and just gets a little shorter body compared to that one. But there's one with a bright upside future that's fresh and still kind of green in relation to her, uh, her overall type and kind. But man, that one that's got a good skeletal build. Heifer coming in next kind of rivals these top fours. She has pure quality and length and hip and, and just overall mass. What I'd like to change is a little bit of her hooks and her pins construction. She wants to drop down a little more than pins. She she wants to open up a little bit more at the base of that shoulder and kind of causes her to have that look where she kind of concaves a little bit more into that fore rib. But I think that one's still got a lot of quality and a lot of upside. Next pair of heifers are, these girls bring us are, are, are two heifers, in my opinion, that, uh, man, they're, they're presented at a high level. They're smooth. They're, they're good built. Uh, they just get a little one-dimensional for me. They get a little flatter in that fore rib, a little flatter in their muscle pattern. Uh, you know, uh, to me, I, I probably like the construction of the darker red heifer of this particular particular duo just a little bit better. Uh, the heifer that comes in next is, like I said, just the, this pair, beautiful made kind of females, just don't have that extra pop and flair. Power comes in next, gets a little deeper and coarser by the chest, and the tail head gets a little more elevated, not enough balance. There's a lot of real product and quality in that one. Young man rounding out the class, that's still a good heifer. I think she's a little green. We could change her just how that hind leg comes up out of that stifle joint and the way it hits the ground, but a really good set from top to bottom.
Well, congratulations. Over here in ring two, we have the results of class 26. First place went to back number 7184. BRDG 50 cent 911J exhibited by Brady Edge, West Branch, Iowa. Second place exhibited by 7192. LFL Jackknife 1024JET exhibited by Bruce Lawrence and Senate Cattle Company. Third place went to back number 7182, exhibited by Colton Barton in fourth place. In that class went to back number 7183, Luden's Family Limousin. Now entering into ring two, class 27, your final class in our first division of Limousin Bowls. Back over on the Hereford side, we have the results of Class 18 Pulled Spring Heifer Calves. First place was exhibited by back number 30978. Bright Miss Lillian 2126 CT exhibited by Peyton Farmer of Brownstown, Indiana. Second place was exhibited by back number 30980 Purple Lavish 80. 80J exhibited by Lauren and Ashlyn Mool of Lexington, Illinois. Third place, exhibited by Cobley Lewis of Ryan, Oklahoma, with TCC TB Carly's Harley 109ET. Fourth place in that class, exhibited by Crosslyn Gracia of El Reno, Oklahoma, with 6MC561C Brecken 126ET. Fifth place, exhibited by Caden Carson Kleeman. Sixth place in that class, exhibited by Michelle Reese. Seventh place, Exhibited by Laramie Blakely. In eighth place, exhibited by Dietrich and Claudia Nisley. Now over in ring one, we have class 19 pulled spring heifer calves born April 1st to April 8th, 2021. Well, congratulations over here in ring two. Results of class 27. First place went to back number 7191. ALT and Black Ice ET exhibited by Abigail Tipton, Greenback, Tennessee. Second place went to back number 7188. PFL Jack Daniel exhibited by Liliana Portwood of Versailles, Kentucky. And third place went to back number 7193. Crazy Woman Creek Limousins of Rushford, Minnesota. Now we're going to bring in your first and seconds to select a champion reserve out of Division One.
Well, folks, back on our uh, Pold Hereford side, I just, uh, wow, what a tremendous class here at, uh, from top to bottom, no doubt, good cattle that uh, you come to the Cattlemen's Congress and, you know, uh, on the edge of being uh, our biggest and most uh, uh, domineering national show we've got from coast to coast, and uh, this is the quality you, you want to see. Uh, pretty domineering, in my opinion. Heifer that's going to lead off, man, I, I, I like this individual. I, this, this thing here is good at the ground. I love how she's built. And I'm going to jump out there and just say, I mean, yeah, she's got plenty enough condition on her for an April heifer. But we all know when we're coming to these national shows, you're going to contend for a calf division. They got to have a little bark on them. They got to be ready to show and they got to be ready to win. And so I, I think she's fine there. So balanced, so smooth, so good, correct at, uh, off of all four ink, uh, off all you know, all four legs, and I mean, it just one that puts a lot of good things together. Uh, the heifer that comes up and just one that kept, I guess, probably for me, just kept growing on me because she rivals my class winner in a simple fact of skeleton design and quality from that standpoint. Her shoulder, her knee, her joints, her hock, just when you set her into motion, I like her freshness, maybe, you know, a little bit better than the one that I ended up tying to and winning this class, but her balance in her lower one-third of her body, just so good and complete, I think that one's got a rival right into that second spot because I think her skeleton design is just as good as that one maybe he's not as much of her but this one might be just a little trimmer and better up through her front end uh, young ladies does a great job with this third place heifer big uh, stout square one up over her top and her hip a lot of body a lot of mass we could tone this one down just a little bit this one's a little deeper in her chest in relation to that four rib compared to those two right in front of her so she doesn't bounce up quite as well in that lower one third but man one that you got to command that presence as far as the squareness and power and dimension and just sheer quality this next pair of heifers I think are really, really good too. This darker neck heifer here, uh, one that the, when this little young girl gets her planted, she, you know, she gives you an intriguing look. She gets a little shorter hip and a little flatter in her muscle pattern compared to those ones right in front of her. Just kind of runs out of power right there, but great at the ground, great presentation. Heifer coming in next is one we need to hook up in that four rib a little bit better. I want to take her pin structure and change it a little bit, elevate them and widen them out when I get in behind this next heifer. Young lady coming in next is one that's a good design heifer. I probably for me the more I studied her and I try to you know because when this young lady gets this one planted this is this ever gives you an awfully awfully good look she gets a little more restricted she just maybe for me just doesn't have the overall length and overall dimension to get her just a little bit higher good fresh green one comes next got a lot of good parts and pieces she's just not ready there today she gets a little one dimensional ever coming in next once again guys good livestock great at the ground young lady does a great job with this one she too gets a little one dimensional doesn't have quite the muscle pattern and skeletal width gets a little flatter in her four rib a heifer round and out the class is one too that's still good cattle she just gives up too much pounds and just too much performance for those runs right in front of her but a good group nice pair there on the top side of that class well congratulations over here in your limousine ring we have the results of your first division of our bull show champion went to back number 7184 brdg 50 cent 911 j exhibited by brady edge west branch iowa and reserve champion went to back number 7191 ALTN Black ICT exhibited by Abigail Tipton, Greenback, Tennessee. Currently in ring two, we have class 28 here in division two of your limousine bull show. Back on the Hereford side, we have the results of class 19 pulled spring heifer calves. First place exhibited by Lauren Brady and Nicholas Jones, Darlington, Wisconsin. Second place in that class went to back number 31211 Hawk Modest 19 JET exhibited by Andrew Flaxra of Hamilton, Michigan. Third place in that class went to back number 30991 MC Miss Cora 2141 ET exhibited by Madeline Brayman. Fourth place exhibited by back number 30993. Hollis Himes, Fort Cobb, Oklahoma. Fifth place went to back number 30988. Graydon Ray and Lander Lee Forbes of Kearney, Nebraska. Sixth place in that class went to back number 30996, exhibited by Julia Barron. Seventh place in that class went to back number 31220, Carly Katie and Clayton Musser. Eighth place in that class exhibited by Reese Brooks and Hallie Barron. Ninth place in that class exhibited by Lakota Sockwell. Next class in ring one is class 20, pulled spring heifer calves, born March 22nd to March 30th, 2021.
Well, we have the results of Class 28 over here in your limousine ring. First place in Class 28 went to back number 7198. Ratliff Jumpstart 340JET exhibited by Ratliff Cattle. Second place in that class exhibited by 7400 TASF Jim Beam 485JET exhibited by Thomas and Son Farms in Boonesboro, Maryland. Third place exhibited by back number 7195 Tanner Walden. Fourth place exhibited by back number 7398 Eldman Ranch of Willow Lake, South Dakota. Fifth place in that class back number 7196 Laney Woodall of Pattonville, Texas. Now in ring two, class 29, your final class here in division two. Well, congratulations in class 29. First place went to back number 7202, DLTM Jouster 107J, exhibited by Dalton Miller of Trainer, Iowa. Second place, back number 7201, Jack Daniels, exhibited by Addison McCarley of Gerard, Kansas. Third place, back number 7199, J.K. GC Jetstream 102 JET, exhibited by Cecil Osborne. We'll now bring in your first and seconds and select champion reserve in Division 2. Really, really good set here uh, of March uh, Pold Hereford females here. Uh, one that probably kind of just jumps out at you right all the way. I, I guess for me, when you start looking at just the basics, yeah, maybe she's a little more moderate. Maybe some other heifers we've seen even in previous classes. But the quality's there. She's great at the ground. She moves extremely well. Her flexible uh, skeleton, her general build and design, the way she blends into herself and combines that with enough power and dimension and quality of look and style and balance, she's the one you got to tie into in this class here. Longer-bodied heifer comes in next, a little bigger scale, probably the domineering heifer from that standpoint point foot size and bone need to hook her up in that shoulder four rib juncture in her chest she's not as unique to, as far as being chiseled up through that front end as that top one but I mean I think that one that one's really really nice this heifer I kept moving up because I think we run into a little bit of problems with some heifers right in behind her from a structure standpoint this one's quality is there her body dimension maybe not there today they're good in her line she's good at the ground love her up through her front end uh, when this young man gets her planted she gives you an awfully good look she just doesn't have enough to her to get around those top two heifers today but her uh, uh, skeleton design and soundness and flexibility is what gets her there. Heifer coming in next is one that's got some unique features, no doubt. Chiseled, chested, good neck, kind of just, just has that little bit of extra presence about her. She gets a little straighter in that shoulder and that knee for me today to get her any higher. The same thing, uh, this heifer coming in next is one on the standstill. I like so soft-middled and she's just, you know, really, really just unique.
technique and the way that she's built on the standstill. When you watch it go away from you, she just gets a little bit more uncoordinated, the way she handles those hind legs. And maybe with some weight and some conditioning as she grows, she'll get to where she plants and drives those things a little bit truer and better. And when she does, she's got the unique qualities that she can be a class contender. But just today, she I just want to change the way she handles those hind legs on the move. A heifer coming in next is one that's got some shape and some turn, gets a little shorter hip and a little shorter body, and you know, and all the way up through her front end, but one that's got some quality and good at the ground. I just like to extend her out and just make her a little bit more three-dimensional. Heifer coming in next is one that gives you a good look from the side, young lady. You do a nice job there, long and extended, doesn't have quite as much rib and dimension and power to get her a little bit higher. Young man coming in next, just a heifer that's probably just a little bit unbalanced, tail head sets up a little high, a little deeper in his chest, maybe a little bit uh, flatter in that forerib. Young man rounding out the class calf that's got some body and dimension, just gets an uncoordinated up at the top side of his blades and his lower part of his shoulder and flattens out in his muscle pattern so he doesn't balance up quite as well. A good group, nice effort there to tie into on the top side. Well, congratulations in Division Two over here in the limousine ring. Your champion, Division Two, goes to Ratliff Jumpstart 340 JET, exhibited by Ratliff Cattle and Reserve Champion, back number 7202, DLTM Jouster 107J, exhibited by Dalton Miller. We'll now bring in Class 30 here in Division Three of your limousine bull show. Back over on the Hereford side, we have the results of Class 20 pulled spring heifer calves. First place went to back number 30998JR Judy 140ET, exhibited by Madeline Norvell of Tuttle, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 30800BM Reba ET, exhibited by Nicholas Hyde of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Third place went to back number 30999, exhibited by Dietrich and Olivia. Nisley of Harrison, Arkansas. Fourth place, exhibited by Katherine Coleman, Modesto, California. Fifth place, exhibited by Ainsley Williams, Van Alstein, Texas. Sixth place, exhibited by Bailey Smith. Seventh place in that class, exhibited by Julia, Jacqueline, Johanna, and Caroline Studer. Eighth place in that class, exhibited by Quentin and Andrew Ray of Brooksville, Kentucky. And ninth place, exhibited by Jens Tate and Hans Lind of Rushford, Minnesota. Now, currently in ring one is class 21, pulled spring heifer calves born March 11th to March 19th, 2021.
Well, congratulations in Division Three. Your champion goes to back number 7206, BNTL Hercules ET, exhibited by Bentley London, Collinsville, Texas. Reserve champion Division Three in your limousine show will go to back number 7204, BFEC 620H High Roller, exhibited by RL Web Farms in Versailles, Kentucky. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We'll now look for class 32 here in your limousine bull show. Well, congratulations in Division 4. Your champion goes to back number 7208, PC Hard Apple Cider in Tucker Parkinson, Levelin, Texas. Next class in, we'll look for class 33 in Division 5. Well, congratulations in class 33. First place goes to back number 7212, Auto How It's Done 1219 HET, exhibited by Pinnegar Limousin and Circle R out of Springfield, Missouri. And second place, back number 7211, SLR Top Gun 121 H, exhibited by Colt Schrader of Beggs, Oklahoma. Now bring in class 34 here in Division 5.
jump right into it. Another buzzsaw of a class here in this March uh, class, and uh, well, it, there's some good ones here. And you got to you got to jump back here and start to really rake these things apart. Uh, and and to me, you know, uh, that's just what you what you got to do when you got this many good ones. The one that puts it all together is the lady that leads off here. One that's really good at the ground. Now this top two that I like really well. I, I mean, she's most comfortable in the lead. I know the one in seconds fighting a halter a little bit today, but the one that leads off, man, she's good enough about her front end. She's so good at the ground, balance as well. Got enough shape, dimension. You talk about smoothness, balance, power, soundness puts it there. The dark red heifer that comes in next, I think rivals are most in type and kind. I think when this heifer, uh, you know, collects herself and g gives you that relaxed look, she's got some extension, she's got some body shape, she's got some hip shape, she's wider constructed than our young lady's heifer that ends up being third. And I think she's the one that most compliments the class winner. Nice pair of heifers there. Heifer that comes in third, you know, at one to me, I, I love her skeleton design, top side of her shoulder and her neck and her balance and the lower one third of her body. But when I compare to those two heifers right in front of her, she runs out of power right in that four rib in that lower part of that uh, uh, body cavity. Uh, maybe just for me, we could lower that twist and just add a little bit more shot of power when you get right down below her. But man, that thing's awfully, awfully good. Maybe just not quite as extended as those two either. However, it comes in fourth, man, there's at times I, I really, really like this one. But young lady, when we get her on the move, I don't think she's as coordinated up out of the top side of her hip and it doesn't transition into that stifle quite as well. So of these top four good ones, she's probably the most uncoordinated when you set her into motion as she drives off of that back end. But when you get her on the stance, so she's great in her lines. She's good up through her front end and her chest. Got some shape and some width and dimension up high. I just want to change the coordination, the way she handles that hip to stifle the ground. Uh, heifer coming in next is one that, uh, uh, you know, I think this one's really, really complete. And part of me wants to run this one a little bit higher. But she just runs out of power in the lower one-third of her body. That rib cage just tapers off a little bit too quick for me. Love her lines. Love her at the ground. Love her up through her front end. But I just want to see that rib cage, that upper side of that rib cage, turn out and get out a little bit better. Big, stout, powerful one comes next. Square off the ground. Probably for me, just gets a little bit coarser. Maybe I, I just like to change a handful of things about her as far as just a sure balance standpoint, especially from her shoulder into that full rib transition. But that's a big set good one. Maybe also re relax her just a tad bit more in her spine when you set her into motion. Heifer coming in next, just a good conventional female. Doesn't have quite the bells and whistles as power from her shoulders back to get up there a little higher for me today. She plays out in her muscle pattern a little bit, but just a good conventional female that's just fairly complete. Heifer coming in next is one young man. I, I, She's done a great job presenting this one. She's big footed. She's big bone. When you get on top of this one, she comes out a little bit more in pieces. She wants to run downhill a little bit more, open up at the top side of those blades. Got that shoulder wants to push out of that body cavity a little bit more so she gets a little tighter in that fore rib. But man, there's still some parts and pieces of that one that's really good. Not enough dimension and power in the young man's really long extended heifer that comes in next. To me, the heifer that comes in next is just one that just needs a lot shot more, lower one third, a little more balance and symmetry in the one that rounds out the class and a little bit more power, but a good group, a good useful set of females from top to bottom. Nice one to tie into. Well, congratulations in your limousine ring. We have the results of Division 5. Champion went to back number 72-12. Auto, how it's done. 12-19 AGT exhibited by Pinnaker Limousine and Circle R out of Springfield, Missouri. And reserve champion went to back number 72-13. Legacies Hulk exhibited by Jocelyn Rupert of Witt, Illinois. We'll now bring in Class 35 in your next division here in your limousine bull show. We also have the results over here on the Hereford side. Results of Class 21 Pulled Spring Heifer Calves. First place went to back number 31014 CF 
CFCC OG Peaches 1JET, exhibited by Peyton Farmer, Brownstown, Indiana. Second place went to back number 31009, Aubrey's Bianca 4054 2J, exhibited by Abigail Pitsick. Third place, exhibited by Kenley Carr. Fourth place was exhibited by Sarah Rimple. Fifth place, exhibited by Katie Peeper. Sixth place, exhibited by Kaya Rhodes. Seventh place, exhibited by Hans Lind. Eighth, Clancy Sweatman. Ninth, Wyatt Smith. Tenth, Caden Kennedy. And eleventh, Jolie Stadley. Well, congratulations over in your limousine ring. We have the results of class 35. First place went to back number 7214. PBRS Soul with authority. Sarah Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa, and PBRS. Next in will be class 36. This will be your final class here in your limousine bull show. Well, our last class over here in your limousine bull show was a scratch. At this time, we're going to bring in all of those champion and reserve champions. We'll be selecting your grand and reserve grand champion limousine bull here at the Cattlemen's Congress. Lucas, I'm going to get a different song. And then this is... At this time, we invite all of the after five club members to come on down to the table here in the arena to pick up their ballots. They can make their selections at this time.
Well, folks, wow, what a class. You know, we, <laughs> you just, you, you get through a class and, you, and you're like, wow, I mean, it, uh, they, 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 they can't really be much better coming in this next go around. And then you get a class like this and wow, my compliments uh, to the breeders and exhibitors and uh, man, it, uh, uh, you know, what little they're paying me to do this, I feel like I'm having to work <laughs> extremely hard and, and, and not to make light of an awfully impressive situation here. Guys, for me, uh, wow, I, I like these front two heifers. Uh, you know, I'm one of those guys that I try to treat my own trade just a little bit. And I, and I, and I, several years ago, I, I, I figured out that, um, I, you know, I said, where, where I got to change my own deal, my own mind, it's just how these cattle are built. We got to start there. We got to look at every freaking joint. We got to look at everything that puts together and how these things, we got to start there. These two heifers within this awesome class of females, man, their skeleton design, the way they're hooked up. At the, you start at their shoulder, their top blade, their spine, their hip, hook bone, pin bone, down into that stifle, hock, back into the, all the way up through the rib cage and their chest floor, and just how everything's put together. How does it all blend together? And, uh, you know, these two heifers here do it quite well. Both of them are really good at their ground, love their foot size and bone. They get out and go, and they, both of these girls move really, really comfortable. Biggest decision i got to make. There's a little more length and extension of the, the, the lead heifer. I think she's a tad bit longer body. She's a tad bit longer and truer up out of her hip. I got a shot more power uh, up high and down low in my heifer that's in second. I chose to go with a chad bit more length of hip and a little bit of a better tail head set. And the young lady, that's why you're going to win. Those two heifers are extremely close. That's the only difference between them. A shot more power, a little more length, and a little better hip structure. And that's, that's the only thing that separates those two heifers. Awesome, awesome pair. Next heifer lineup, young man you're right there with them ones. From your shoulders back, you're built just as good as those ones. You're good at the ground. You're good in your bone work, your body shape, your hip shape. Thing that only thing gets you. They're both just a little bit longer extended up through their front end. You're good fronted, don't get me wrong. Good chest and a good neck. But those girls are just a little bit longer. And not that I'm a front end freak, but that's just where they get you. They're a tad bit longer up out of their hip, but that's it. Outside of that, you rival them in every other category. You just get a little shorter, but that's an awfully good one. Big bodied, soft made, big at the ground type of a female comes next. And at times this heifer can get really domineering on you. And you're like, wow, what's this thing? But I, I get up on her and she's got blood with a beautiful coat of hair, no doubt, and a beautiful presentation. She gets a little one-dimensional for me. There's not as much real meat and muscle and skeletal spread as those top three heifers in this particular heifer. She's awfully deep in her forerib, awfully deep in her rear flank, but she just narrows up a little bit more for me. I just can't drive her any higher because of that. Heifer coming in next is one that I really want to tie into. She's square, she's stout, she's got a little more real product in that heifer right in front of her. Probably for me, just a balance standpoint. She wants to taper into that uh, hip loin juncture a little more, elevate that tail head, push that chest just a smidgen lower, but outside of that, young lady, that's an awesome, awesome heifer. Square, good built, a lot of power and presence. Young lady's coming heifer next. I know she got away, got a little teared up there. Hey, but way to hang in there. You can taper out in your forerib a little too much. You're that lower one-third of your body tapers up a little high. Everything else, long, good, extended, sound female. Young man's coming in next. Very extended female. Gets a little concave in that forerib, a little one-dimensional, more open up display to them shoulders. Just doesn't bring that transition in very, very well. But the heifer coming in next is one that's just a little greener. Good outline, good design. I like her at the ground. Maybe for me, she just gets too a little bit one-dimensional. Doesn't have quite that extra flare and pop when you get up on top of her and right in behind her. Same thing goes for a really, really extremely attractive female from the side. She too gets a little one-dimensional. Not enough skeletal spread. Maybe just a little more uncoordinated out of her hip. Young lady said for coming in next, I want to see some flex out of that hawk. She's long, she's smooth, she's good. She's got some good reach. But that, flock, that hawk stiffens up just a little bit more. Young man rounding out the class. A lot of hip shape, a lot of body shape, uh, just gets a little bit too round, too coarse, too compact um, and for me to get any higher. That was an awesome set of heifers, nice trio there on the top side. Uh, my compliments to those exhibitors.
Well, congratulations. Back over here in your Hereford ring, the results of Class 22 pulled spring heifer calves. First place went to back number 31023. TCC TB Fancy That 102 ET exhibited by Ella Weldon of Piedmont, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 31025 EXR Primrose 1504 ET exhibited by Boan Graves. Third place went to back number 30816, exhibited by Suter Clark of Gretna, Virginia. Fourth place in that class was exhibited by back number 31030, BKCMCC Jungle Girl 147 JET, exhibited by Sarah Rose Sullivan, Dunlap, Iowa. Fifth place in that class went to back number 31017, exhibited by Piper Collier. Sixth place in that class, exhibited by Kendall Devine. Seventh place, exhibited by Grady and Hudson Carter. Eighth place in that class, we'll go to back number 31031, Shelby Seamer. Ninth place, went to back number 31029, Addison and Jalen Kuntz. Tenth place in that class, went to Elizabeth Adams Davis, Oklahoma. And eleventh place in that class, exhibited by Cooper Curry. Now, currently in ring one, we are selecting your champion reserve spring heifer calf.
Well, folks, if you could, put your hands together for a nice set that these kids brought us here in our Pold Hereford division. This has been pretty impressive. Uh, you know, once again, I, I feel comfortable when we get all these guys back out here. We got cattle that are good at the ground, uh, their sound and their structure uh, at, at this stage of the game. Um, we've got some look, we got some style, we got some balance, we got the right skeleton design. These cattle blend into themselves. I'm not going to go back through and talk each one. At, uh, uh, but man, I, I, I think there, there's a there's a certain several out here that, that I think are, are commanding of this, you know, and it, once again, sometimes, you know, it, it's, it, you know, we're, we're, you know, to me in these calves and at these national shows, you know, we want to counterbalance who's really ready today and still has some future and not get them things just to 12 o'clock. But, uh, but I think there's some heifers out here that got a tremendous amount of future and, 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 and it's bright uh, for both our class winners and our seconds. I, I think this is an awesome set of cattle and, and, and to me, I mean, there's, there's going to end up being a pair of heifers that I think fit real good and kind of put together uh, for me uh, the skeleton design, the sound, the look, the balance. But if you could give them one more round of applause and we'll keep moving this show on and pick your pair of champions. Well, congratulations on the limousine sign, your grand champion limousine bull here at the Cattlemen's Congress. Back number 7198, Ratliff Jumpstart 340 JET, exhibited by Ratliff Cattle Company. And reserve champion limousine bull, exhibited by Pinninger Limousine and Circle R, Springfield, Missouri, with auto how it's done, 1219HET. Congratulations to those exhibitors. And congratulations over here on the Hereford side, your champion spring heifer calf, exhibited by Lauren Jones, Darlington, Wisconsin, with HPH756, Lady Luck, 5480J. And congratulations, reserve champion Spring Heifer Calf over here in your Pulled Hereford show. Reserve champion goes to Ella Weldon, Piedmont, Oklahoma with TCCTB Fancy That 102 ET. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We will now go into your next division here in your Pulled Hereford Junior show. We'll look for class 23, Pulled Junior Hereford, Pulled Junior Heifer Calves, born February 20th to February 28th, 2021.
Well, congratulations over here in your limousine ring. We have the results of your premier breeder and exhibitor. Premier breeder, Madison Ratliff of Kansas. Premier exhibitor, Parkinson Cattle Company of Texas. And a special congratulations, Herdsman of the Year, Chase Ratliff. Once again, congratulations to all of our limousine exhibitors and a special thank you for joining us here at the Cattlemen's Congress. For those of you that are joining us ringside here at the Cattlemen's Congress, we would like to let you know about the two bars we have here on our facility. The loft over above the Jim Norick Arena sign directly across from the announcer booth. You do not need to be a member of the Cattlemen's Congress to go and enjoy that. So if you'd like to get a drink while you're in here watching the show, please be sure to head up to the loft. There's also the Cattlemen's Bar in Barn 3.
jump right into this January February division with the class of Feb late February's here pretty commanding heifer to drive off this class here great at the ground I mean one that has that added length that's fine and length of hip good up through her chest and her neck bounces in that lower one-third got some real shape about her like her body condition in relation to her age in this stage of the game uh, to me just puts a lot of good things together uh, the next thing that rivals her in that kind is young lady separate comes in second she you know one that's really sharp flat shoulder good up through her through her front one-third probably just when you compare them I mean she gets a little more one-dimensional compared to that class winner but she still has enough skeletal spread and width and dimension to get around the heifer that ends up being third just a good complete heifer that's good at the ground square and puts a lot of nice things in a good complete package heifer coming next I really like this one from the side I like her depth of body that spring and turn to that lower part of that rib cage she's elevated up high up out of those shoulders uh, so she gives you a pretty commanding look from the side you get in behind her and that's where she just kind of runs out of power She's a little higher twisted. She's a little flatter stifled. She just doesn't have that commanding power at the lower part of her uh, hip structure to get around those top two heifers. Heifer coming to next is one that does have some muscle. And I, and I like this girl. This one's not a, this is a little bit more of what you'd call your meat and potatoes kind of deal. Sound good at the ground, long bodied, long hip. Maybe not as powerful from her foot size and bone standpoint as those heifers right in front of her, and that's fine. Maybe not quite as neat up through her front end as some of those what in front of her, but that's still a good quality female that adds a lot of, lot of upside. Heifer coming in next is one, this young man gets this thing planted and I think she gives you a pretty domineering look. At, uh, she's long bodied and long hip. She just gets a little more hitched up in that, uh, in that hip and down into that leg when you set her into motion. We, I just like to see a little more flexibility off of both ends. But like I said, when he gets her planted, that thing gives you an awfully, awfully good look. I just like to change some structure and some flexibility issues. Heifer coming in next, once again, just a, just a nice female that doesn't have quite the extension, quite the muscle shape up top over her hip to get her any higher but she's awesome at the ground foot size and bone got a lot of soundness a lot of flexibility in her skeleton but still manages to put it in a fairly attractive package to stay right here in the middle part of the class heifer coming in next is one that to me is really long sided and, and one that's very smooth she gets a little one dimensional and with that added length I'd like to see a little more upturn to that rib cage when you get in right behind her and right up on her uh, she just flattens out a little bit more there a unique heifer comes in next and here's one that uh, uh, you know that's got some unique pieces uh, she's awfully chiseled up through her neck uh, she does have a little more shape when you get right up on her she just comes at me a little harder today I, I just would like to see a little more natural softness and durability a little more body condition to really judge to see how how well she does as far as real true feed conversion young lady rounding out the class good design female she just runs out of power in the lower one-third of her body she tapers into that four rib and that rib cage and that's what gets her down there good group nice one to tie into on the top side of that class Attention after five club members, we would like you all to report to the backdrop for a photo again on the limousine side, all after five club members, if you could please report to the backdrop. We do have the results of our last class here in your Pulled Hereford Show, class 23. First place went to back number 31039, CFCC Poppy, 307 JET, exhibited by Peyton Farmer, Brownstown, Indiana. Second place exhibited by Kenley Carr, Alba, Texas, with SCCWR Pixie, 1225 ET. Third place in that class exhibited by Fletcher Larson, Valentine, Nebraska, with HB Lady Dice, 1039. Fourth place in that class was exhibited by Brooks, Halley, Reese, and Baron of Talela, Oklahoma. Fifth place in that class was exhibited by back number 31038. SG Miss Jasmine J34, exhibited by Wyatt and Quaid McIntyre of Leedy, Oklahoma. Sixth place, exhibited by Trig Marston of Agenda, Kansas. Seventh place in that class, exhibited by Fallon Sullivan of Center, Texas. Eighth place, exhibited by Clancy Sweatman, Easton, Illinois. And ninth place, exhibited by Wyatt and Hadley Dunklau of Wayne, Nebraska. Now in ring one, we have class 24, Pulled Junior Heifer Calves, born February 10th to February 19th, 2021.
You're going to be one, two, three, and four. Wow, what a good set here, guys. That uh, I, <laughs> it was just funny. I, you know, I, when you're showing and your kids showing and you're you're here in the lead and you're trying to get it all put together and you finally get her right there and then what does she decide to sue? She wants to take a pee, you know. And so it's just it's just funny. I, you know, I, I'm I'm. I told Amy a while ago, man, I'm having a blast. I mean, this this is awesome. I just, you know, I had the fortune to do the Herford Junior National several years ago, and man, what an experience and what an honor. And uh, man, today has been fun so far. I, you know, and I know we're just getting into calf division this pole deal, but what a lot of good cattle. Top pair of heifers in this class. They elevate themselves as far as structural soundness and design. Uh, the young lady separate, I guess, the more I just studied this one. At first, the young lady, when she brought in a ring, I thought maybe you were just pushing a little too much front end, and the more I started to study and I was like hey compared to these other three heifers you got more real product four rib rear flank spring to the rib width up over your top you're better up from your hooks to your pins you're commanding at the ground foot size and bone I'll take a little bit of chest I mean that's fine I don't think there's anything wrong with that as far as soundness quality power uh, you know I think that's the one you got to tie into in this really good duo here at the top side of this class a little more elegance and grace in that shoulder blade placements and uh, and, and head and neck probably comes into this one that ends up being second I don't think she's a strong and true from her hooks to her pins she wants to set back on those hind wheels just a little bit more than maybe the ideal but she's a little sounder and a better moving and a, little, a lot more flexible than these next two heifers but those are a pair of high quality females that are sound attractive and got some good things about them you know a unique pair of heifers comes in next effort that ends up being third I think she's domineering in her body shape presence and that and everything from that standpoint but she's a little more upright in her shoulder she's a little straighter in that knee and that hock I don't think she gets around the ring quite as comfortable it's my heifers that go one and two, and that's why you end up third. Same thing goes for the fourth place heifer. I like her on the standstill, her balance, her length of body, her length of hip. She rivals those class winners quite well. She might play out a little bit more in that lower part of that rib cage, but when we set her into motion, she's a little stiffer in that hock. She doesn't want to drive off quite as well. She, too, just pushes a little bit of those elements right in that knee and that shoulder structure, uh, and I'd like to see just a tad bit more flex there, but uh, that's the four really, really good heifers. Heifer coming in next is one that uh, just comes at us a little more in pieces today. She's open and displayed at the top part of her shoulders. Those shoulders push out a little bit more and cause her to be a little more concave in that forerib. But she's got some width and some dimension, just a little more balance issues compared to those heifers right in front of her. Heifer that's got some shape and dimension comes next. We just need to change her in the lower one-third of her body and the way that's constructed, young lady. But still got some width and good, still good at the ground. Heifer coming in next is one that's really pretty, real well designed. We just need a shot more performance in this one as far as just body mass and feed conversion. Young man round and not the class same thing good silhouette good design we just need to see a little more feed conversion and just a little bit more dimension to get you any higher good group nice pair of heifers on the top side of that class well congratulations in class 24 pulled junior heifer calves first place went to back number 30833 PSCSCC Veronica 1006 ET exhibited by Hannah Pembroke of Beggs, Oklahoma. Second place went to back number 31052 TR IMA J20 exhibited by Madeline Grace Thompson of Amity, Missouri. Third place in that class went to back number 31059 KJ746D Coco Delight. 268 JET exhibited by Randy June Williams of Dublin, Texas. Fourth place in that class went to back number 31050, TSSC Adora 1216 JET, exhibited by Marcy and Maddie Howard of Richfield, North Carolina. Fifth place was exhibited by Corey Strumpf of Columbia, Illinois. Sixth place exhibited by Tegan Himes of Tuttle, Oklahoma. Seventh place in that class exhibited by Madison Katzenberger of Monroe, Wisconsin. In eighth place in that class went to Carter and Callan Chambers of Blanchard, Oklahoma. Now currently in ring one is class 25. Pulled junior heifer calves born February 1st through February, I'm sorry. Yes, February 1st through February 7th, 2021.
Well, for those of you just joining us over here in ring two, we are getting started with your Angus ROV Bull Show. Our judges today, Mr. Gerald Callahan and Donnie Robertson. Well, congratulations, and a nice way to start out your Angus Bull Show. First place in Class 1B will go to Silvera's Tradition 1028, exhibited by Silvera Brothers of Firebaugh, California, with a weight of 805. Next class in Ring 2 will be Class 2B here in your ROV Angus Bull Show.
Well, congratulations in class 2B. First place goes to back number 2004. Kirk Battle Cry 218 exhibited by Cannon Kirk Aldo, Texas with a weight of 880. Next class in ring two will be class 3B here in your ROV Angus show. Well, once again, wow, what a really good class of pulled females here. At, uh, yeah, the one that uh, kind of commands the class for me, I uh, uh, probably really didn't have a fault in my mind where this one was going to end up in this class. Good at the ground, love her body shape, her dimension uh, on the top side of her skeleton. And when you get in behind her, I think this one just puts a lot of good things together. She sounds, she's attractive, she's got some dimension. I like her body condition in relation to her age in this stage of the game. That's a good, complete heifer. Here's a heifer, you know, once again, uh, uh, it happened yesterday. Had a heifer that was a little bit further down the line on my first initial pull. I keep studying. He keeps showing. That's, uh, you know, I told that young man, young lady, I said, you don't start, uh, you don't stop showing until the guy starts talking to him. And this heifer, I think, you know, once we got a, a really good look at her, I, I found out that she rivaled my class winner more, more as far as soundness, foot size, and bone, and just the way she gets in, 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 in her flexible skeleton, and the way she just transitions from the stand to the lead. I think she's domineering up through her front end. She's got some top shape. She's got some hip shape. She's putting good. I, I just wish she wouldn't run downhill quite as much as she does. You know, she's a little elevated in her, from her hooks to her pins. Runs once, runs right back to the top side of her shoulder blades. I wish we could balance that out just a little bit more. But I think she's an awfully, awfully good heifer. Next pair of heifers are two that I think are really unique in their design. They're fresh or maybe a little more immature as far as just their overall mass and body shape. But uh, the effort that comes in third, I, I like everything about this one. And want to push her a little hard but when she walks away from us she gets a little bit more uncoordinated on the move she wants to bring those hawks in a little bit more she doesn't have quite enough width and dimension right in behind her to get her any higher just change her there same thing goes for the young lady separate coming in next one i like her upside of her front end her body shape or her design over her top side she too i'd like to change that foot structure she's a little bit narrower footed in relation to her bone so that doesn't so she just doesn't drive off of those hind legs as quite as neat as she needs to but on the standstill she She's awfully good looking, young lady does a great job. I just want to change the way she handles uh, um, from her hawk to the ground. At, uh, have her coming in next is one too that I think just kept growing on me. Just a good no nonsense heifer. She's got some body shape, some hip shape. She's good at the ground. She's not as extended. Maybe doesn't have quite all the bells and whistles as some of those heifers right in front of her as far as unique features are concerned. But I think she's a very complete heifer and is deserving in that spot. Heifer I moved down a spot or two is one that uh, I really like on the standstill and she's beautifully presented good body shape like her angularity she too is one I want to change when we set her into motion she just wants to get a little more uncoordinated off of that back end ever coming in next is one that's got some foot size and so and just domineering as far as that that, that deal uh, uh, to me as far as just growth and pounds and productivity she too gets a little more uncoordinated off of that back end you want to change her tail head back into her pushes a little more chest just bounce her up a little bit more ever coming in next is one that's good in her line she's flat in her shoulder needs a little little bit more lower one-third about her to get her any higher but outside of that that's a high high quality female and for coming in next is one that gets a little one-dimensional she flattens out in her muscle pattern her rib cage design and to me we just want to expand her out and get her a little bit further along in this particular class next heifer is one that's got some shape uh, and to me is very angular up through that front end but probably for me she too just wants to play out a little bit more in that base of that fore rib and that rib cage in relation to the rest of her body but still a high quality female young man and out the class is one that's got some length and extension just gets a little harder in her overall appearing just want to see a little bit more true natural feed conversion in that particular female to get her any higher but a good group nice pair of heifers on the top side well congratulations in class 25 pulled junior heifer calves first place went to back number 3165 wr 2296 katniss 2j exhibited by fallon and gunner gore second place in that class goes to back number 31068 mav ava 106i exhibited by sydney holcomb of lexington georgia third place in that class goes to back number 30356 FCC 8923 flows 101 exhibited by Will Frecking of Alpha Minnesota. Fourth place exhibited by Ella Weldon, Piedmont, Oklahoma. Fifth place exhibited by Holly and Noah Perry, Fort Gibson, Oklahoma. Sixth place was exhibited by Tessa Austin and McKenna Smith. 
Seventh place in that class exhibited by Kemley Carr, Alba, Texas. Eighth place was exhibited by Katsy Atkins of Rose, Oklahoma. Ninth place exhibited by Bianca and Maya Bevan. In 10th place in that class, exhibited by Kaylee Lunsford of Fort Scott, Kansas. 11th in that class, Dagan Poole, Mulhall, Oklahoma. Now currently in ring one is class 26. Pulled junior heifer calves, born January 23rd through January 31st, 2021. Well, congratulations in Class 3B over here in your ROV Angus Bull Show. First place went to back number 20010, Lazy JB Ego 1428, exhibited by Lazy JB Angus Matros, Colorado, with a weight of 1,115 pounds. Second place went to back number 2009, Conley No Limit 18. 10, exhibited by William Case Conley, Sulphur, Oklahoma, a weight of 1045. Third place in that class, back number 20011, HAG Black Crow 106, exhibited by the Haggards of Modoc, Indiana, with a weight of 1055. Next class in ring two is class 4B. For those of you just joining us here in the Jim Norick Arena, we'd like to welcome our judges over here in your Angus Bull Show, Mr. Gerald Callahan, Fedman, Oklahoma. Gerald lives there with his wife, Jennifer, children, Ryan, Tracy, and Brian. He's the president of Express Ranches and owns Callahan Cattle Company. He has had the pleasure of judging the National Western, Angus and Hereford shows, Fort Worth, Houston, Louisville, Kansas City, and numerous others. His associate today, Mr. Donnie Robertson of Yukon, Oklahoma, Lives in Yukon with his son Austin and daughter Taylor. He is the, VI, the VP of Marketing at Express Ranches. For those of you sitting ringside, please join me in welcoming our Angus Bull judges today, Mr. Gerald Callahan and Donnie Robertson.
late January heifer calves, what we got here. Boy, another really good class, and these top four females are really good. The combination heifers are lead-off heifer. Of soundness, quality, of rib shape, muscle shape, and look and style and balance. I think we got some uniqueness in the next, next four, uh, three heifers, but I think the one that puts it all together and the best shoulder blade placement and flexibility off of both ends still maintains the right kind of rib shape and hip shape is the young lady's heifer that leads off. She's got an advantage in length of body and length of hip over these next two heifers. She's a little better in her shoulder and the way she drives off of that front end. Just a good complete heifer that puts a, a lot of nice things together. The mo most heaviest muscled heifer in this lineup comes next. I love the top side of her blades, the shape over that loin edge. You get in behind her. She's fresh. I, I just want to change the angle of that shoulder and that knee. I think she drives off of that back end really, really well, young lady. But I want, I just, I, I want to see that shoulder rock back into her a little bit better because she wants to falter just ever so slightly off of that front end. She's got plenty enough ribs. She doesn't, she's not as bold through the center part of her body as the next two heifers on either side of her, but I think her muscle shape and her quality, uniqueness up through her front end, she's got to go second. From her shoulders back, I really like this yellow heifer. Young lady brings us beautifully presented, big bodied, bold there, good over her top and her hip. I probably prefer her out of her shoulder blade placement and knee placement compared to the one right in front of her, but I, I think she gets a little plainer, uh, maybe two, just a little bit flatter in her muscle shape compared to the one right in front of her. So that's the push and give between two and three. The fourth place heifer is one that I like your center dimension. I, I want to change her tail head. She gets a little shorter body, so she doesn't come to me as well balanced as those heifers right in front of her. Change that just a little bit, and I, that's an awfully, awfully good one. Long body, smooth made one comes next. She gets a little bit one dimensional in the lower one third of her body. Ties into that fore rib a little higher and tighter than I'd like to see, but I have a long bodied and attractive female. Next heifer is one that's good at the ground, foot size and her bone. She too needs to change that upside of that rib cage, turn it down a little higher, lower and truer into that body cavity. Uh, to me, it's some balance issues as well. Heifer coming in next is one that's got some shape and up high. She plays out down low. She needs a shot more balance. Young man rounding out the class, just one a heifer that just once again runs out of power in the lower one third of her body and overall muscle and bone mass, but still a good design as far as her skeleton is concerned. A good group from top to bottom. Nice heifer there to tie into on the top side of that class. Well, congratulations over here in the Angus ring. We have the results of Class 4B. First place went to back number 20013. Sankey Chief exhibited by Chris and Sharon Sankey of Council Grove, Kansas, and Carolyn Jean Sankey of Economy, Indiana, with a weight of 1120. Second place in that class, back number 20024. A1 seal, a seal a glance, 105, exhibited by Brax Parker Frederick of Stephenville, Texas, with a weight of 885. Third place in that class went to back number 20023. DRI Premier J150 PRI, exhibited by Laura Carpenter, with a weight of 850. We will now be selecting your champion and reserve champion, Spring Bull Calf, in your Angus ring. Back over here in the Hereford ring, we have the results of class 26. First place went to back number 31076, MC Flows Money and Fame, ET, exhibited by Kinley 
Joe Guidre of Brenham, Texas. Second place went to back number 31079, D715, Classy Monica, 1182 ET, exhibited by Fallon and Gunnar Gore. Third place in that class went to back number 31082, HDS Lady, 1421 ET, exhibited by Kenasillis Cannon and Keelan Dickerson of Leedy, Oklahoma. Fourth place in that class will go to back number 31080, WSCC Breathless, 95 JET, exhibited by Morgan Brewer of Mount Vernon, Arkansas. Fifth place went to Madeline Cooper and Wyatt Weber of Lomango, Kansas. Sixth place in that class, exhibited by Cassidy Pope of Canton, Oklahoma. Seventh place, exhibited by Callan Chambers of Blanchard, Oklahoma. Eighth place in that class, exhibited by Levi Mason Roth. Now in ring one, we have class 27, pulled junior heifer calves, born January 3rd through January 15th, 2021. Boy, another really good class, our last class before we do this division of uh, early January calves. And uh, I, I, I like this top pair of heifers pretty good, not, not take away from the really nice one there in third. But these two heifers here to go one and two complement each other extremely well. I think is uniform in the way they're designed uh, as, as any top pair that we've had. And, and probably for me, the, the, there's subtle differences. And uh, uh, the one that's going to lead off, I think Scott, she's better in her four ribs. She's got a little more turn to the middle part of that rib cage. She's a little more more expressive in her muscle pattern from her hooks to her pins. I think top shape and lower shape I think is about the same as far as a push. I just think there's a little bit more true internal dimension in the lower front one third of her body uh, and, and so I think that adds a little bit more Cassidy, just an overall up through the front front end. And, and to me, not that I'm saying that the, this calf here in second narrows up through her chest floor and gets hard, but I think there's just a little bit more expansion, just a little bit more real heifer right there. Heifer coming in second, she too is just good at the ground, square, good built. I think she just tapers off and a little bit higher up into that rib cage design compared to that one. That's a close pair. That's a good pair of heifers. The one in third is probably for me, comes at us a little more in peace, this young lady. Uh, she's got some rib shape. She's got some hip shape. She doesn't transition in that shoulder back into that forward at the top side of her spine and the lower part of her forerib quite as well those front two heifers she's good on the move sets back on those pastures maybe a little more than i'd like ideally but uh, still a heifer that's got some look style and balance heifer coming in next is one that's really long bodied and long hip she plays out in the lower one third of her body maybe doesn't have quite as much expression when you get right in behind her as some of these heifers right in front of her we can change her there and just coordinate that transition and that shoulder into that forerib a little bit better heifer coming in next is one that uh Probably for me is a, is a really smooth made heifer. She, I like her design. She wants to hock in just ever so slightly. She plays out in her muscle pattern. So I just can't, I, I like her design and I like her overall uh, completeness in the lower one third of her body and her balance. But I just want to see a little more muscle shape and a little more spread when I get in behind her to get her any higher. Heifer coming in next has got some muscle up high uh, and especially when you get in behind her. But with all that added length and muscle, we need a shot more lower one third in this particular heifer to get her any higher. Heifer coming in next is one that uh, to me is just a good conventional female, uh, not a whole lot of bells and whistles, just good complete female. She doesn't have enough of her to get around those heifers right in front of her, not enough to overall length of body and just overall hip shape and body shape 
for her. Heifer coming in next is one that, uh, you know, she's laboring a little bit off of that back end, and I, I know that's troublesome. That sure could have been something happened that, uh, you know, here at the show. So we could sure change that. She is a little straighter in her shoulder and her knee than uh, I, maybe ideal compared to some of the other heifers, but good body shape, hip shape. Uh, just maybe a little bit more unfortunate to how that heifer's getting around the ring today. Heifer coming in, you know, rounding out the class, long body, long hip female, just doesn't have that internal dimension we're looking for today. A good group from top to bottom. Nice pair of heifers there on the top side of that class. Well, congratulations over here in the Angus ring. Your your champion out of our first division, your spring bull calf champion, goes to back number 20010, Lazy JB Ego, 1428, exhibited by Lazy JB Angus, Montrose, Colorado. Weight on that bull was 1115. Reserve in that division was back number 20009, Connolly No Limit, 1810, exhibited by William Casey Connolly, Sulphur, Oklahoma. Weight on that bowl was 1045. Now in ring two, we'll bring in your next class in our next division, class 5B. Back over here in the Hereford ring, we have the results of class 27. First place was exhibited by Riley Gregory Rhodes of Carlin, Illinois, with purple RGR Mags 8JET. Second place in that class. Went to back number 31090, HTB Jasmine, J330ET, exhibited by Wesley and Carson Ware. Fourth, third place in that class. We'll go to back number 31088, PSC SCC, Vanessa, 1002ET, exhibited by Bailey Smith. Fourth place in that class. Went to back number 31089, DBLL 308 F Skittles 113 ET exhibited by Trevor Lockhart of Caldwell, Texas. Fifth place in that class exhibited by Taylor Mars. Sixth place exhibited by Trevor Stock Lockhart. Seventh place exhibited by Ty Potter. Eighth place was exhibited by Michelle Reese. And ninth place was exhibited by Carolyn Johnson. Now currently in ring one, we're selecting your champion reserve junior heifer calf.
Well, folks, what an impressive division. Let's give these exhibitors a nice round of applause because they sure deserve it. These polled heifers here, I, you know, we thought that first division was pretty impressive. And probably for me, we, we get into this January, February group, and we get these class winners out here. And, man, I, I guess what I really see, and, and this is in my mind, uh, and, and as we, you know, went through all these classes, I feel like I, I've got five heifers out here that are, that are cows that are show heifers. And, and what I mean by that, these things are good at the ground. They got a little extra foot about them. They got a little extra bone, so they're good there. And then we got some real product in these heifers that still got a really good look and and I think that still at the end of the day regardless of what breed that's what we're really shooting for and I think in this division I think that's pretty impressive we got some ones that got some natural softness natural rib shape it's 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 not uh you know uh fed into them because they they haven't been that far along on feed and so I, I think that's genuine these are five genuinely good females that show a lot of cow power but yet they got a little extra bells and whistles about them and, and so that's impressive for me just standing out here evaluating your cattle so that's a compliment to you kids out here um I think it gets a little bit tight within this particular division. I think there's a pair of heifers I think maybe are just a tad bit more unique. Not going to go back through and talk each one. I'm sure we were almost towards the end of the day that, uh, and everybody's like, man, I wish this guy would get off that mic a little bit more. But, hey, it's, let's give these kids another round of applause, and I'll pick you a pair of champions. Well, congratulations over here in the Angus ring. We have the results of Class 5B. First place went to back number 20048. Boyd Prominent 1043 exhibited by Boyd Beef Cattle, Maze Lake, Kentucky, weight of 1210. Second place in that class, back number 20037. Bush's Custom Built 860 exhibited by Tyler Bush of Britain, South Dakota, weight of 1305. We will now bring in Class 6B over here in the Angus ring. We also have the results of your last division over here in the Hereford ring. Champion in that division exhibited by Peyton Farmer of Brownstown, Indiana with CFCC Poppy 307 JET and reserve champion in that division exhibited by Fallon and Gunnar Gore with WR2296 Katniss 2J. Now in ring one, we have class 28, pulled senior heifer calves.
Well, congratulations in Class 6B. Results, first place goes to back number 20042. Stoltz Insight 21, exhibited by Bryson Stoltz, Maxwell, Nebraska, weight of 1220. Second place goes to back number 20044. EGF Turning Point 102, exhibited by Madison Taylor Stratton. Weight on that bowl is 1380. And third place in that class back, went to back number 20045. CF Kyle's Express 01, exhibited by Simon Ranch, Elk City, Oklahoma. Weight on that bowl is 945. We will now bring in those first and seconds and select a champion and reserve champion winter bull calf. Great set of uh, November, December heifers here in our pole division here. Uh, the top side of this class, that, uh, probably to me, two heifers that really complement each other in type and kind. Here's two heifers that are very agile off the move, uh, very flexible in, within all of their joints, so that is concerned. Uh, two heifers that are very extended up through their front end and very maternal in, in, in those characteristics. And one's a November, one's a December. And so with that, I mean, there's a little bit of just, you know, slight advantage and just overall product in our one that's going to lead off. She's a little longer body. She's a little longer hip. She probably does have a little more true center dimension. Uh, you know, and, and when we get in behind them, I think the muscle factor is a little bit of a push, but there's a little more length. There's a, just a little more turn and internal dimension to our leadoff heifer. I like both of those heifers really good. You talk about a pair of heifers that are feminine, angular, still have enough product and, ba and awesome at the ground. I, I think those are two really, really nice ones. The next pair of heifers uh, are some heifers that got some meat and some muscle. And young lady, if you'll bring that fourth place one on around, this darker red heifer here is one for me that uh, I really like on the standstill young man, and she rivals those ones right in front of her. We set her into motion. She's a little stiffer and more uh, uncoordinated in her hock structure. She transitions that from her hip all the way down, and so she just doesn't drive and go off of her front end or her back end quite as nice and easy as those ones right in front of her. But on the standstill, uh, she's got some body shape, hip and muscle, and still very angular up through her front end. I like the three-dimensional look of this one that comes in next, uh, really bold right in behind her shoulders. She's really fluid from that shoulder back into that fore rib. Uh, probably for me, young lady, I just want to see her go a little bit better off of both ends. She just struggles a little bit there. Doesn't have quite as much uh, flex up in that upper hip joint. and Doesn't transition it down very good. Heifer coming in next is one that I do like at the ground. I do like her movement. I like her squareness and her flatness uh, of her shoulder and the way that blends into her. I get in behind her and she just gets a lot narrower. She get uh, from up high all the way down. I just want to see more with the base. Heifer coming in next is kind of the same scenario. One that's extremely long sided and long hip and with that I want to see all, all that added length. I could see a little more turn to that middle part of that rib cage. I get in behind her too and she wants to narrow up a little bit more at her pins and the way she gets down into that stifle and we could sure change that. A real good design. Nicely presented female comes in next. Young lady, she just simply doesn't have enough lower one third. She needs more turn to that fore rib and that lower rib cage to get her any higher. Heifer coming in next is one that uh, just from a balance and symmetry standpoint she's a little plainer about her chest or neck gets a little plainer in the way her muscle shape uh, comes at us today, just a little flatter. Young lady rounding out the class is one that uh, we just want to change the way she gets around the ring off of that back end. She just really is uh, laboring off of that. But a good group, uh, very complimentary, uh, nice set, pair of heifers there on the front end of that class, a good group.
Well, congratulations over here in the Angus ring. Your champion winter bull calf goes to back number 20048. Boyd Prominent 1043 exhibited by Boyd Beef Cattle of Mays Lake, Kentucky. Bull weighing 1210. Reserve champion in that division went to Stoltz Insight 21 exhibited by Bryson Stoltz of Maxwell, Nebraska. Bull weighing 1220. We will now look for class 7B here in your Angus ring. Back over here in the Hereford ring, we have the results from class 28. First place went to back number 31108. BACC 629, Georgia K, 0728T, exhibited by Mason Allen of Nakona, Texas. Second place went to back number 31097, EXR Dewdrop 2042ET, exhibited by Catherine Coleman, Modesto, California. Third place went to Cash Hembry with DCF 601D Jenny 024H. Fourth place went to Randy June Williams of Dublin, Texas. Fifth place exhibited by Aiden and Atlee Kleinman of Wentworth, Missouri. Sixth place exhibited by Mackenzie Sloan Boyer of Venita, Oklahoma. Seventh place went to Brooke Janine of Greenbrier, Arkansas. Eighth place went to Sydney Hodge. Ninth place in that class, exhibited by Maya and Bianca Bevin. Now in ring one, class 29, pulled senior heifer calves, born October 2nd through November 10th, 2020. Well, congratulations in Class 7B. First place went to back number 20051. Kirk Cage, 2039, exhibited by Cannon Kirk of Aledo, Texas, bull weighing 1440. Next class in ring two will be Class 8B.
Another really, really good class of fall pulled Hereford heifers here. Uh, boy, some give and take and uh, some females that I, I sure like quite a bit. That um, uh, You know, we go three, four, you know, five deep in here. And uh, these top two heifers here on the, on the stand still I, I think are pretty impressive. Uh, you know, they've got that, uh, they got some matted shape up high and, and they've got some rib cage design about them. Uh, you know, the biggest difference is, is uh, the young lady's lead heifer here. Uh, obviously, I think she's, you know, she's the one that excels this trio when you set them into motion as far as foot size and, and, and just overall comfortability. When you set her into motion, I don't think she's as chiseled up through her chest and her neck as a young lady's heifer that ends up being second. But that mobility is what gets her there. Where, where, where I have just a little bit of a question is what, you know, as we read them on paper, you know, she, she doesn't have a set of EPDs and well, that's sort of something that uh, we need to work on, especially a young lady when we got one that's this good. And, and so, uh, I, but I think as they say in the day, I think she's the place I still got to start with from a mobility, look, style and balance and power standpoint. I, I really, really like that one quite well. Young lady, this heifer on the stand still is really good. She's got a tremendous amount of shape right in, right in behind him shoulders. She carries it all the way back. I love her hip shape. Um, I like her balance in the lower one-third of her body. You know, I think her shoulder blade sits back in her plenty good enough. I, I, I'm, I, I'm not so much concerned the way she drives off of that front end. Just when we do set her into motion, she comes up just a nickel bit short. And if this heifer here could really just get out and go, you know, that's why I asked you to go a little faster. She actually was moving a little bit better. But, you know, compared to that class winner, she just doesn't get out and drive off of both ends quite as well as she does. That's an impressive heifer on the standstill. Same thing for you, young lady. I, I, I like this heifer quite well. I, I like the freshness and levelness of her top. I love how that tail head sits down and good and level in her body cavity. Uh, and, and when I compare to those front two, she's not as well developed in that fore rib and that middle part of that rib cage. We too, when we set her into motion, she comes up a little, just a nickel bit short. And I wish I could get her just to drive a little harder and chew her off of that back end. Love her up through her front end, square, good belt, nice presentation. Heifer coming in next is a big top, big hip one young man. No doubt that's a powerful female. But with all that power and length she has, I just want to see a little more upswing in that fore rib, in that middle part of that rib cage. She's just not quite as neat up through that front end. And when you get, get ones this powerfully constructed, we just like to see just a little more turn to that rib cage and make her just a tad bit more maternal looking. She just gets a little higher and tighter from that navel back into that udder. Heifer coming in next is that uh, one that uh, sure has the angularity and, and, and so in the in the pattern from the side to, to rival up there towards the top end of the class but when you get right up on her she flattens out in that forehead. She just really gets concave right in behind them shoulders and, and for me we just got to see more expansion there. She pops those shoulder blades out and just to me you know she just gets a little narrow all the way back at, 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 the, at the ground level all the way up. Heifer coming in next. Good design. Flat shouldered. Um, good attractive female. Still good at the ground. Just not enough of her. She gets a little played out as far as her muscle shape and her overall rib shape and we just need to see a shot more heifer there. Young lady rounding out the class, long bodied, long hip female, ultra feminine up through her front end. She too just doesn't have that added dimension in the lower one third of her body. Uh, and to me, we just want to see a little more skeletal width when we get right in behind her. A good group, nice pair of heifers there on the front side of that class. Well, congratulations over here in your Angus ring. We have the results from the last two classes. Results out of class 8B. First place went to back number 20054 AML. Point taken 020 exhibited by Brent Farms. AM Livestock and Jackson Dill Bowling 1590. Second place in that class was exhibited by Galley Cattle Company, Kirbyville, Texas with GCC Hurricane Bull 
Wade 1420. Results out of Class 9B, first place exhibited by Purebred Livestock Services, Fairgrove, Missouri, with Hunter's Top Flight 045, Bowling 1640. And second place in that class was exhibited by Cody Drager of Farewell, Texas, with B4L Hollywood 0821, Bullwing 1415. Currently in ring two, we are going to select your champion and reserve champion, Senior Bull Calf. Back over here on the Hereford side, we have the results from class 29. First place went to back number 31115, PSC SCC Elegance 0108 ET exhibited by Hannah Pembroke of Beggs, Oklahoma. Second place was exhibited by Anna Virginia and Mary Merritt of Altus, Oklahoma with CH CTJ Annabelle 086 ET. Third place was exhibited by Holly and Noah Perry of Fort Gibson, Oklahoma. Fourth place was exhibited by Cooper Curry. Fifth place exhibited by Isaac. Milken and sixth place in that class exhibited by Miranda Hansen. Seventh place exhibited by Gracie Gist. Now in ring one, we have class 30 pulled senior heifer calves born September 10th to September 27th, 2020.
Well, folks, uh, uh, what a good class of September females from top to bottom. Make no bones about it. I, I like these three heifers really good. And, and you know, I, I am a sucker for a good fall born. I mean, <laughs> granted, 90% of my uh, cow herd calves out in the fall. And so I do have a little bit of a, uh, you know, a, a little more of an affiliation with these fall borns. Guys, th this is a good trio here. You talk about three females that are still really good at the ground. They got some length. They got some extension. They got some femininity qualities about them. Just some subtle differences. The one that packs a little more punch uh, within this trio is the young man's heifer that's going to lead off. Just a sheer, just a slight advantage in foot size and bone. I think he's a little more truer right up at the top side of his blades. I think he's a little longer up through his hip. I think she's a little more uh, three-dimensional in her fore rib back into that rear flank. She does carry just a smidgen more chest than those two heifers right in behind her, but I'm okay with that because she's extremely long neck. She's good about a bird her neck and one that just puts so many nice things together and you set her into motion you talk about balance uh, in the lower one-third of her body because still with a little extra chest she still balances down into that navel back into that udder and that rear flank and I think she's got just a little more genuine product when you get right in behind her that's a high high quality female these next pair of heifers were maybe a little closer but man the more I study this one right here in the middle and you know for a guy that likes fallborns and calves a lot of fallborns I look at the you know especially all three of these and I'm thinking well, and what are these things going to look like this summer at Junior Nationals, as Senior Yearlings? And I think that's where I just start gravitating toward this heifer that ends up being second. She's so genuine out of her top line and her hip, and that's where she's probably a little bit better than the heifer that ends up being third. I really like this hip structure in this one. She is so square off of all four corners, and, and to me, she still balances up. She's still fresh. She's angular in that shoulder. Just a good, complete heifer that's got some added look and some upside and some future. That's a high-quality one. Same thing kind of goes for this one and third. And I had to kind of break these three down a little bit more. I, this heifer here I think is just a little bit flatter in her forerib compared to those ones right in front of her. I think she narrows up just ever so slightly more from her hooks to her pins and flattens out a little bit more in her muscle pattern right through the center part of her hip compared to those top two heifers. But, man, that's an interesting trio. It'll be nice to see them things as heavy breads come later this summer. That's a good, good group. Another really good one here comes in fourth. And, and there's a lot of times here's a heifer that can go to a lot of places and do a lot of winning I just think she runs out of gas and power compared to those top three females I love her presentation she's presented at a high level I like her foot size and her bone I just don't see the center dimension and mass and, and, and overall skeletal width when I get up on top of her and behind her as compared to those top three females but that young lady that's still a high quality female another really nice one comes in next she's fresh angular up through her front end she too young man she just runs out of power in the lower one-third of her body and in, in, in terms of skeletal width compared to those those ones right in front of her. Heifer that rounds out the class, square, good made, flat shoulder, good neck one, still real square off all four ends. She too just gets a little bit uh, one dimensional on the lower one third of her body. Doesn't have quite that extra drop in that fore rib and that rear flank attachment to get any higher. That's a good group from top to bottom. Really intriguing trio there on the top side of that class. Well, congratulations over here in the Hereford Ring. Results of class 30. Pulled senior heifer calves. First place went to back number 31125. Frost Holly 709 HET, exhibited by Stetson Story of Stockton, Illinois. Second place went to back number 30875. BK Hide and Seek 0069H, exhibited by Blakely and Clayton Hayes of Ada, Oklahoma. Third place went to back number 30872. BK Hollywood Star 0050. HET, also exhibited by Blakely and Clayton Hayes. Fourth place went to back number 31127. BKCMCC, History Buff 0044 HET, exhibited by Brenna and Bria Herndon. And fifth place in that class goes to Wesley and Carson Ware. Sixth place, Cody Heath. Currently in ring one, we're bringing in class 31, pulled senior heifer calves, born August 7th through September 6th, 2020.
Well, congratulations over here in the Angus side. We have the results of Class 10B. First place went to back number 20067. Seldom Rest Regulate 0105. Exhibited by Seldom Rest Farms, Nowatsky Cattle in Maple Lane, Angus. Second place in that class went to back number 20070. CNC Farms Conversation Chaz. Exhibited by CNC Farms of West Winfield, New York. Weight on that bull is 1920, and weight on the first bull in that class. Weight on the first bull in that class was 1955. Well, congratulations in Class 11B. First place went to back number 20072. Kirk Vision 9717, exhibited by Cannon Kirk of Aledo, Texas. Weight on that bowl was 2230. We'll now bring in your first and seconds and select a champion reserve intermediate bowl.
What a re another really good class here of September females here in our pole division. And, uh, uh, you know, guys, I, I, I feel like, I, and, I, and I don't mean to take a lot of time, but, man, when we, you get cattle this good, and, and, and I know what it takes and the time and effort to, to come and compete this hard at a national show. And, and so I, I'm trying to uh, give it all these kids uh, all the time that them and their families and breeders and stuff have put into it. And, and just to make sure I, I, I kind of get everything in every class lined up exactly the way I want to in my mind. The big heifer that's going to win, yes, she's domineering in that standpoint as far as growth and overall performance, uh, no doubt. Uh, but man, her foot size and her bone, and for a heifer that's got that sheer advantage in that standpoint of just overall performance, she's still got the goods about it. She's balancing the lower one third of her body. She's still plenty fresh enough, good up in her top line. Uh, you know, it, it, to me, she's just very, very fault free and just a high, high quality female. The heifer that I guess I more I studied and the more I just kept looking at that uh, young lady ends up being second here. I, I just love the genuine build of this heifer. I think compared to my next uh, two heifers, I probably prefer her hind leg structure, her pasture and design, and just her overall structure. And also when I get her right up on her, I think she's the only one of this trio that truly rivals the power and dimension of our class winner up over her top and up out of her hip and that natural drop into that fore rib back into that rear flank. I just think she puts a lot of good things together. I don't think she's as overly as powerful and wider through her hooks to her pins as our class winner, but I sure think that one's beautifully presented, so smooth and still elegant on the move. The effort that comes in next, that uh, boy, here's just a you know, back in the day, just a good moderate frame Hereford female that's got some shape and some body. I wish I just, I, she sits back a little far on those passers for me, and I'll just come out and say it. I wish I could say, I, just to get, she's extremely soft-footed, but I'd like to angle them back up just a little bit more. But I love her dimension and just overall general build. She's not near as long-bodied and long-hipped as those top two. Heifer that I really, really like, and on the standstill, I want to move this heifer up. I love the hip shape and the top shape and the curvature she has to every angle of her body. But she just, when we set her into motion, she just comes up a little bit shorter for me off of that front end and that back end to drive her up to the top end of that class. Really long body, long hip, ultra feminine heifer comes in next. She too comes up a little shorter in the way she gets out and goes. But on the standstill, she's very angular, got a lot of look and style and balance. Heifer comes in next is one, just gets a little one dimensional, a little flatter in her fore rib and her overall design. Young man rounding out the class. He too, we could change the way that one gets around the ring a little bit better and just add a little bit more dimension through the center part part of her body. A good group. Uh, nice uh, pair of heifers there on the top side of that class. Well, congratulations over here in the Angus ring. We have your champion intermediate bull going to back number 20067, Seldom Rest Regulate 0105, owned by Seldom Rest Farms, Nowatsky Cattle, and Maple Lane Angus. And reserve champion of that division goes to back number 20072, Kirk Vision 9717, exhibited by Cannon Kirk, Galato, Texas. Now in ring two, we'll bring in class 2B. Over here in ring one, we do have the results of class 31. First place was exhibited by Kinley Daly Kingston, Oklahoma. Second place was exhibited by Leona Manternak of Cascade, Iowa. Third place exhibited by Hadley and Hannah Harrison, Fourth place exhibited by Piper and Cruz Collier. Fifth place was exhibited by Libby and Peyton Perez. 
Sixth place in that class exhibited by Emma Pitsick, and seventh in that class was exhibited by Isaac Halverson. Well, folks, if you could, let's give all our fall division pole heifer exhibitors a nice round of applause. This is a pretty impressive set. Once again, like that January, February class, I man, we got some things out here. Uh, is you know, just beast of females that uh, I, I made that comment about. We got some cow power that just are transitioning into show heifers, and and I think that's at the end of the day, any breeder, that's what you really want. And, uh, and to me, you know, we get these class winners out here. We got a set that are extremely functional at the ground. They got good angles uh, to their joints and their pasterns and just their shoulders and the way that's all constructed. Where they're good up out of their top lines. They're plenty good enough up through their front end. They got plenty enough rib shape and it all matches. And so to me, that, that's, a, that's an appeasing. Because I got, uh, you know, four, you know, really eight heifers out here that, uh, that complement each other quite well. I probably, as I really get back and I study and I analyze a few certain things, there, there's probably two heifers that uh, I think complement each other quite well. I, I think they're both generally out of the same mold. I think they're both really good at their ground. Uh, I don't know that necessarily either one of them are the most ex exquisite up through their front end, either one of them, but I think as far as genuinely sound, functional, powerful, yet awesome built females that still have enough look and style and bounce, and I appreciate the con body condition in that they're in, uh, I think they make a nice pair. Folks, if you could, let's give them another nice round of applause, and I'll show you the two I'm talking about. Well, congratulations in that division. Your champion goes to back number 31125. Frost Holly 709 HET, exhibited by Stetson Story Stockton, Illinois. And reserve division goes to back number 31136. BK High on Suite 0040 HET, exhibited by Kenny. Kinley Daly of Kingston, Oklahoma. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We'll now look for class 32, pulled late summer yearling heifers, born July 12th. Young lady brings us a single entry July heifer here and one that could sure withstand a lot of competition. 
I, I like her foot size and her bone. And, and, and I guess to me, really, at, you know, it's intriguing how much shape she has down her top and up out of her hip. Still bounces up really, really nice. Still plenty good on the move. And, you know, and, and she's not overly robust in the middle part of her body, but it all matches, you know, and that's the one thing is, you know, sometimes we, we overanalyze just extreme depth or extreme front ends. She bounces up really good. It'd be intriguing to get her back out here uh, for our division lineup and give her a little bit of a harder evaluation. That's a high quality female. Well, congratulations over here in your Angus ring. We have the results of Class 12B. First place went to back number 21161, Connolly Passport 0440, exhibited by Connolly Cattle of Sulphur, Oklahoma. Weight on that bull is 2080. Second place was exhibited by back number 20073, Kaylin Schilling of Edson, Kansas, with Schilling Area 51. Weight on that bull is 2090. Now in ring two, we'll bring in Class 13B. Back over here in the Hereford ring, we have the results. A class 32 pulled late summer yearlings. First place went to back number 31144. SLC 30F Riley 20H exhibited by Shelby Seamer. Now in the ring is class 33 pulled early summer yearling. Heifers born May 3rd through June 11th, 2020.
What a good set of May, June females here, folks. Uh, compliments to the breeders and exhibitors within this particular class. Man, there's, uh, there's some heat in here. I, 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 sure, I sure like a lot of these things really, really well. And one that kind of commands it, though, is this young man's heifer that leads off. Talk about at the ground, love her foot size, matches her bone, squareness of them toes. She transitions from, uh, you know, into the lead extremely well, flexes off of her joints, so balanced in the lower one-third of her body, and refined about her teeth structure. But, you know, you really start to study these cattle from their chest floor and that forerib, where that navel is and where that rear flank attaches, and then how it comes right up into that udder. So strong and good about her top. And still, you know, for, for a redneck one, I mean, still really nice about her head and her neck and get behind her and she's got plenty of power it's just a high quality high quality female and boy and that's like these next two I sure really like the, the difference between two and three is I, I think there's a I like the top line in the hip structure of the one that comes in second she's pushing a little less chest she's very maternal and dry you know I love her in her four ribs she too bounces up really well in the lower one third I don't think she's as domineering in her hip structure as the one that leads off especially when you get right in behind her uh, you know and to me but where she gets the one that ends up being in third is just that levelness and her smoothness and her balance and she rivals and complements our class winner quite well. Probably like a little exercise and power in this young man's effort. And I know at times we're trying to get her to just go and she moves fine. She moves good. I know she's fighting you just a little bit but I don't think she's as comfortable in her hip loin juncture and her pin set as well as those two heifers right in front of her but she's deep. She's stout. She does push a little chest and that really doesn't bother me because she's got the power to handle it but I just don't think she balances quite as well up in her top line and her hip structure as the ones that go right in front of her. That's a high quality female young man you've done a great job it's gonna make an awesome cow ever comes in next is one and at times you get off of this one and boy this one can give you a really really intriguing look she's sharp about her angles really extended up through her front end neck comes high out of those blades probably for me when I get right up on her compared to those ones that are right in front of her she gets a little flatter in that fore rib maybe a little more peaked in her pin set compared to those ones just want to blend her together just a little bit better to rival those top three effort that comes in next is one that's good at the ground love her foot size and her bone beautifully presented she gets a little coarser and thicker more masculine about her head and her neck and her shape compared to those ones right in front of her I'd like to take that tail head set and bring it down into her body cavity and pull her back out and give her a little bit more length of body heifer comes in next is one that's flat shoulder and good chested and good neck she just gets a little more one dimensional for me a little flatter in her fore rib a little flatter in her muscle design compared to those ones in front of her heifer to me that uh, you know it's got some length and some soundness but just gives up too much in that fore rib and that rib cage design to get her any higher because she's beautifully presented and I love her hip structure and her hind leg I just wish I could expand her out in the lower one-third of her body. Young man's heifer that to me is the one that's just a good conventional female, just doesn't have the balance and look and style that we're looking for, but a good, easy doing, a lot of product kind of heifer. Young lady heifer is one, just simply for, for me, just, it just she just flattens out. She gets a little one-dimensional. Not enough muscle shape, not enough pop and flare to that fore rib in the middle part of that rib cage. And we like to change her when she sets into motion. Same thing for the next young man's heifer. You want to change her the way she gets out and goes and add a little more dimension internally. Young man round and out the class. Good cattle. Just, you know, one that's built nice as far as skeleton design. Not enough length, not enough power to handle this class. Because they're on the top side of this, we ran into a bus all over three really, really good females.
secrets just a little more maybe in this lower quarter. The bull that we have next, uh, really a lot of body to him. Maybe got him a little overdone. I'd like to change him in that neck and front end and clean him up just a little bit, but a real useful bull, a bull that's got a lot of mass, a lot of body to him. A big power bull. Back on our pole, Hereford side, uh, not just overly whelmed with numbers within our intermediate division, but uh, we were sure blessed with a lot of quality. That single entry, July, she's, when you bring these, uh, you know, this first and second back out here, she rivals uh, them as far as uh, body depth and dimension and power. Maybe not quite, it doesn't put it quite together as in a smooth package as the heifers that go one and two in that next class, but I think here's one that you got to appreciate still that's still good at the ground, that is some foot size and some bone and some mass and some genuine qualities and still puts it together in a relatively attractive package. The heifer that came out of that last class, you know, a heifer for me that just, you know, she come in the ring and just hit me pretty hard. The way she's just genuinely made. The angle of that shoulder and the neck, the way it comes up there and has some skeletal spread. She's going to be our division champion. The young lady that was second to our division champion is going to be our reserve. My compliments to those two high quality females. Well, congratulations over here in the Hereford ring. Your champion in that division goes to back number 31163, BKCMCC Highness 082H, exhibited by Mason Allen. And reserve champion went to back number 31147, LAR Murdy 0714, exhibited by Hannah Harrison. We'll now bring in class 34, pulled spring yearling females, born April 3rd through April 28th, 2020. Back over here in the Angus ring, we have the results of class 13B. Class 13B, first place, exhibited by back number 20075, Silveris Brothers of Fireball, California, and Tri-T Farms with Silveris Convoy, 0340. Weight on that bull is 2250. Second place in that class, exhibited by back number 20081, Connolly Cattle, Sulphur, Oklahoma, with Connolly lead the way, 0738. Weight on that bull is 1985. Third place in that class, back number 20084, LK Intuition 010, exhibited by Alexis Colling of Curryville, Missouri. Weight on that bull is 2070. Fourth place in that class, back number 20076, 4M Promenition 265, exhibited by Kenneth Hartzell of Moscow, Iowa, Joseph Mather, and Walter Meth. Angus Ranch. Weight on that bull is 21.55. Fifth place went to Selden Rest Polar Express, exhibited by Taylor Martin, Delhart, Texas. Weight on that bull is 21.60. Sixth place in that class, Checker Hill Hannity 027, exhibited by Charlie Baker, Clinton, Oklahoma. Weight on that bull is 2100. Currently in ring two, we have class of 14B here in your ROV Angus Bull Show.
Well, congratulations in class 14B. First place went to back number 20088 K bar D West Point 14H exhibited by K bar D Redmond, Oregon. Weight on this bowl is 2315. Second place went to back number 20086 Bush's Nightcap 857 exhibited by Scott Bush of Britain, South Dakota and Alex Rogan of Brandon, South Dakota. Weight on that bowl is 2270. Third place in that class, back number 20085 Sagebrush Luke 4020 exhibited by Wendell Custer of Cushing, Oklahoma. Weight on that bowl is 1850. Next class in the ring, class 15B. Well, congratulations over here in the Angus ring. We have the results of class 15B. First place went to back number 20091, Jensen Virtual 003, FAF FCC exhibited by Cal Allen Jensen of Plainfield, Iowa. Weight on that bowl was 2265.
late April's junior yearlings, good set, big stout, powerful females within this particular class, and uh, a little bit of give and take, and on this top trio of females, but, uh, I think, you know, you know, anytime you're going to get some variation in size and type and kind, and we do that in this particular class, and so for me, I, I just step back and start evaluating just on pure quality. I think the heifer that leads off, I, where I think her general build and her just uh, overall quality, it, man, when you set this thing in motion, she wants to get out and go. I mean, I love the, the athleticism off of both ends, her freshness of her body condition in relation to her size and her length, and I think that's where she has an advantage, and so does the heifer that ends up being second, because of the, both of these heifers are long body. Where she beats the heifer that in second is, I like her hip structure, the way her tailhead lays nice and bite, tight in her body cavity. I could take this one, though, and if I'm going to critique her, that leads off this class, and just blow her out just a little bit more in that fore rib, but I think that thing is sound, long, smooth, and attractive. This puts a lot of good things still together in a fresh package. Uh, the young lady's dark red heifer here, I, I, boy, there's I love the, the shape down her top. I love her length of hip. I love the power when you get in behind her. You know, this heifer here, you know, she's plenty elegant up through her front end. She balances really nice in the lower one third. I wish she just didn't run downhill quite so much. That tail head gets a little elevated, and she just runs downhill down towards that hip loin juncture. And so to me, she just doesn't balance up quite as well on the standstill as that one that leads off. But I like those two heifers, heifers to complement each other quite well. The moderate framed heifer comes in and ends up being third. And, and guys, I... I'm one of those guys, you know, that I, you know, I'm, I'm not here to dictate size. Where she ends up third is just simply compared to some of the other heifers within this class, as I love her skeleton design. She's probably as good and genuine in her top line and her hip structure. I just wish you could lengthen her out, elevate her just ever so slightly more, but that's still a high, high quality female. Run this heifer up a little further up in the class, and I think the more you analyze this one, the more you can really appreciate this one. You know, she's good in her line, she's good in her body build. Uh, you know, probably for me, she just gets a little plainer about her head and her neck. Love the width and dimension behind her. Still gets out and goes extremely well on a high level. Young lady heifer coming in next. One that just doesn't balance up quite as well. She's long spine, long hip. Still powerful off of that hind leg. She pushes that chest floor down and out just a little bit more. Would like to see just a little bit more turn to that lower part of that rib cage with all that length and power she possesses. Young man's heifer coming in next. You know, is one that I love the silhouette. I love the design, the flatness of her shoulder, uniqueness about her head and her neck. She just plays out in the lower one-third of her body too much for me to run this one any higher. Heifer coming in next is one that uh, at times, you know, this one gives you an awfully good look. But she gets a little one-dimensional, a little flatter in that forerib, a little flatter in her muscle pattern. Doesn't quite balance up as well in her chest and, 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 her, and back into that forerib quite as well. But that's still an athletic, nice, per, nicely presented female. Just want to see a little more balance and symmetry. Young lady heifer coming in next. Big stout female, uh, a lot of shape up high. She too plays out in that lower one third of her body. Young man rounding out the class. Simply just doesn't have enough product from end to end to get around any of these heifers within this particular class. Still a quality female. Uh, nice trio there on the top side of that class. Well, congratulations. Your junior yearling bull champion goes to Silveris Convoy 0340, exhibited by Silveris Brothers and Tri-T Farms. Junior yearling bull, we've got three. 
three classes left that are single entries. Yeah. Well, congratulations, your reserve, reserve junior yearling bull goes to back number 20081. Connolly lead the way 0738, exhibited by Connolly Cattle Sulphur, Oklahoma. Congratulations to those exhibitors. We will now look for class 16B. Well, congratulations, Class 16B. First place goes to back number 20093, Shrik Shmar 934, exhibited by Brad and Susan Shrik of Hiawatha, Kansas. Weight on that bowl is 2,600. Next class in will be Class 17B.
Well, congratulations over here in your Angus ring. We have the results. Class 17B, first place, went to back number 20094, MCSSF, Night Sky, 9088, exhibited by McC Zachary McCall, Sunrise Sunset Farm, and Dawn Acres. Weight on that bowl was 2630. Coming in the ring now will be your final class of Angus Bulls, class 18B. Well, folks, uh, it's a pretty impressive uh, trio of females right here, no doubt. Um, probably for me, I, you know, it, uh, th this is where you got to really just analyze and maybe overanalyze a few things just a little bit harder and truer because, you know, there, there's no doubt, you know, no, none of us are all blind out here and we, we can all see how good all three of these heifers are. The heifer that leads off within this particular trio she commands it off the off the lead. I, I mean, this thing just gets out in motors. I mean, she's got so much flex up high, and it starts up in the flexibility of her spine and her hip. She transitions it all the way down to the ground, the angle to her passer and her foot size. And so with that, I, I think she has that advantage. She gives up just a little bit of muscle shape up high and over that loin edge and right in behind him shoulders to that young man, it ends up being second. But where she excels at one and second, she comes up and has a little more elevation and lift at the top side of those blades. She's a little thinner and trimmer right through her, through her neck and she has a little more elevation and length up through there. Uh, you, she blends really, really good back into that four rib. You know, maybe she, you know, and when you get on her and you compare her to these next two heifers, I think there's more than enough width and dimension of skeletal design and sheer raw power. But she just commands this trio when you set her into motion and her foot size and her foot shape and the squareness of that toe. We start at the ground and it, just the flexibility and the mobility and the freshness and the smoothness and the general pattern that heifer commands. That's why I had to use her to win this particular trio. Gets a little closer here, you know, in two and three. And I, you know, I, obviously all three of these are really close. I love the up shape of the top and the design of the young man's heifer. I, he, you know, this thing's still fresh, and I love that extra shape and the dimension that she possesses. She bounces up still so good in the lower one third of her body. When we set her into motion, she's still really, really good, young man, but she's not quite as comfortable, not quite as agile as that heifer that leads off. She's not quite as unique up through that front end, but we're pushing just elements and traits that are that close. I think that's a high, high quality one. The heifer that ends up being third, in my opinion, I like this thing that she's commanding. This young lady just shows the wheels off of this one. Love the flatness of her shoulder. She balances up well in the lower one-third of her body. When I compare her from, if you'll just get up from a hooks to her pin standpoint, compared to the two heifers that go one and two, she's, a, she's plenty long there, but she flattens out in that muscle pattern just ever so slightly. But one of the main reasons she ends up being third in this trio, when I watch her go away from me, she wants to bring those legs up underneath her body cavity and just track a tad bit more narrow, maybe just not quite as coordinated the way she handles those hind legs. Guys, those are just simple little traits that happen to separate those three females. Good one comes in four just comes into a buzzsaw of a class foot size and bone we could add a little more to it just to make it a little more commanding beautiful design high quality cow prospect there heifer that comes in next gets a little coarser about her head and her chest and her neck maybe doesn't have quite as much internal dimension to balance up to run at the top end of this class young lady's really good heifer that rounds out the class long spine long hip just doesn't have quite the overall internal dimension and maybe set that shoulder back into her a little bit truer and better guys that's a high quality set an awesome trio of heifers there on the top side of that class my compliments to those breeders and exhibitors
Well, congratulations in Class 18B. First place went back number 20095, Connolly Duckman, the prowess of Sexing Technologies, Connolly Cattle, and Duckman Cattle. Weight on that bowl is 2,500. We are now going to bring in those three classes. We'll be selecting a champion reserve senior yearling bowl. Well, folks, as we get these four females back out here for this division, it uh, uh, wow, what, what a set of females we, we, we've seen and within these particular two classes. And, uh, man, my compliments to those exhibitors that, uh, you know, that heifer that wins that, that pair of heifers that came out of that first class, there's some long body, long hip, you know, a lot of power both in those females there. Um, and, and to me, we talked about that close pair. And, and to me, they, you know, they're, they, they carry a lot of power within this division, no doubt. And both of them are still really good at the ground. You know, maybe we could change the way they're constructed uh, in, in certain areas. The one heifer that wins the class, we could hook her up under that four rib just a smidgen better. The one that was second to her, we talked about, we'd like to take that tail head and bring it back down into her. But those are two extremely powerful, sound, good-looking females that uh, have a lot of future within this breed and this industry. The two heifers that come out of that last class, you know, and of course there was three of them in that class that were just phenomenal. And, uh, and you know, we ended up with a pair of heifers that I thought complemented each other quite well. I chose a heifer that I think is just incredible when it comes to athleticism and movement, and, and that's tough to always the rival, you know, and we always got to know, that, and not to not, I'm not saying that the young man that was second, that that one's not sound. It's just that this one is just a little bit more agile. Uh, and just a little more extended up through her front end. Those are a pair of females that uh, I think are quite exceptional, quite exquisite in their overall design and what they complement and what they bring to the Pold Herford breed. I'm not going to separate them. The young lady that wins that second class is going to be our division champion. The young man that was second is going to be our reserve. Congratulations. Well, congratulations in your spring yearling division champion. We'll go to back number 31. 183 BK High Profit 069 HET, exhibited by Chansey Clark of Muldrow, Oklahoma, and bred by Buck Cattle Company. Reserve in that division will go to back number 31188. 6MC Rockin 561 Melissa 031, exhibited by Gage Creamer, and bred by Six Mile, L Six Mile Creek LLC. Now in ring one, we'll be bringing in your final class here in your junior Pulled Herford show.
Well, congratulations over here on the Angus side. Your champion will go to back number 20094, MCSS F Night Sky 9088, exhibited by Zachary McCall, Sunrise Sunset Farm, and Dawn Acres. In reserve will go to Connolly Diekman Prowess, exhibited by Sexing Technologies, Conley Cattle, and Diekman Cattle. We are now going to bring in all of your champion reserves over here in ring two. Our judges, Mr. Gerald Callahan and Donnie Robertson, will be selecting your grand and reserve grand champion Angus Bulls here at the ROV Angus Bull Show at the Cattlemen's Congress.
I'm sorry, I was making myself joke up, but uh, this class here, I think that song was fitting. <laughs> this is uh, one class, one division, um, yeah, and it's bad to the bone. Uh, this is a, a set of females here that uh, um, are extremely good. They offer a lot of upside all the way through down the line and uh, beautifully presented, and, and obviously these heifers have been worked hard on all year, and uh, you know, and uh, they all end up in one class and one division. And so, uh, um, you know, uh, I, I was thinking to myself, this young lady's heifer, that uh, while that song was playing, and uh, I said it was pretty fitting, pretty bad to the bone. Square off of both ends, awesome at the ground. She's commanding in, in that regard there. For a big stout heifer with a little shot of extra performance, she transitions so good in the lower one-third of her body. Shoulder fits her. Her hip structure is good. And what I think is really, really unique, you know, it, it, when you set this one into motion, for as long-bodied and long-hipped as she is, and she maintains the structural integrity of that top line when you set her into motion, and then she still ha can command that hind leg to reach that far up underneath her, guys. That's impressive. It's a high quality individual. And man, and I like this one coming in second. Man, she is fresh. She is angular. She is beautiful in her design. She too is commanding at the ground. I love her hip structure, the way she blends into herself. She's not as robust in the way that she's constructed as that class winner, but I think that is an upscale, high quality, awesome, awesome female. From her shoulders back, this one here in third is domineering for a Hereford female. So good in that fore rib, back into that rear flank. She's good up out of her top line in her hip. She commands it at the ground. She's a little deeper throated, a little deeper chested, and she ends up third behind those two high quality ones. Top side, flat shouldered, good chested, good neck, good design, still plenty good off on the move. Lower one third, turn to that rib and fore rib is what gets this one here in the fourth. We changed that about her and I think we can do a little more. I kept moving this young lady heifer up and the more you study this one, she doesn't come at us as stout and as powerful as some of these other heifers either in front of her or behind her. But folks, you need to step back and look at the quality of this female here. She's awesome at the ground, beautiful in her design and her skeleton design. Uh, you know, she gives up some performance and overall mass, but just sheer quality. That's an awfully, awfully good one, young lady. She just runs out of power for me to run her up a little higher. Heifer comes in next, big body, square, good move, and just good conventional type of a female. Doesn't come at us with enough bells and whistles as far as up through that front end to get her any higher, but she's a stout, powerful cow, making easy doing one. Heifer coming in next, domineering female on the standstill. Big top and big hip, beautifully presented. We need to change her just the way she goes off of those hind legs. And I will, for one that's that long bodied and that long hip, I want to see just a little more turn to that middle part of the rib. Young lady rounding out the class once again, super long body highly presented female she too flattens out a little bit more gets a little more one-dimensional with all that good uh, high quality set my compliments to those exhibitors from top to bottom um, it'll be interesting to see once we get all these divisions winners back out here well congratulations in your final division here in your pulled her for junior show first place and champion junior yearling goes to back number three one two zero three Boy Harley 018 HET exhibited by Paige Lemonager, Hudson, Illinois. Reserve in that division exhibited by Boan Graves of Chillicothe, Missouri with TKCC Diamond Club 001 ET. Third place was exhibited by Hannah and Hadley Harrison. Fourth place exhibited by Catherine Coleman. Fifth place exhibited by Julia Jacqueline and Johanna Studer. Sixth place exhibited by John Cox. Seventh place was exhibited by Piper Collier. Eighth place exhibited by Fallon Gore. We are now in ring one, going to bring in all of your champion and reserve champion division winners in our junior Pulled Hereford show. We would like to thank all of those that made our show possible over here in the Hereford Ring. A special thank you to the National Junior Hereford Association Board of Directors, Noah Benedict, Wyatt Lawrence, Lauren McMillan, Libby Rushton, J.W. Cox, Ralston Rip, Luke Daniels, Tar Tut, Wesley Denton, and Lauren Jones. Special thank you to those guys as well as Elizabeth Crum, the Oklahoma Hereford Queen, Grace Pinckney, the Nebraska Hereford Queen, and Lauren Gates, the National Hereford Queen from Kansas. Thank you guys for making our show run so smooth.
Well, congratulations, your grand champion, Angus Bowl, here at the Cattlemen's Congress, Seldom Rest Regulate 0105, exhibited by Seldom Rest Farms, Nwatsky Cattle, and Maple Lane Angus. Well, congratulations, your reserve grand champion, Angus Bull, Silver Silveris Convoy 0340, exhibited by Silveris Brothers and Tri-T Farms. Once again, congratulations to all of our Angus Bull exhibitors. A special thank you to our judges, Mr. Gerald Callahan and Donnie Robertson. Well, folks, uh, we come to the end of our Junior Hereford show here this afternoon, and um, uh, it's certainly an honor and a privilege, no doubt. Um, had the blessed fortune of judging the Junior Lemmys yesterday, and what an awesome show that was. But uh, uh, this was pretty spectacular here uh, this morning and here into this afternoon. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the Horn Hereford drive w was pretty incredible, I thought. And 
we get these polls out here, guys, and I, I, this is pretty, pretty impressive in, in my uh, in my book. I, I, you know, the, these division winners out here. I, I hope at the end of the day you can kind of see what I was shooting for and what I wanted to get back out here. Cattle that were wicked sound, constructed extremely on a high level, um, that still had some body mass and some shape and. And still put it together in, in a very, very attractive package. I, I really don't need to go through here and talk each one of these division winners because I think I could say about the same thing for every single one of them. Uh, it's just surely impressive to me uh, between the breeders and the exhibitors and the job that they're doing with these cattle from our calf division all the way up to our, our, our heifer that wins that last division, uh, just constructing and breeding and maintaining these cattle uh, to such a such a high elite level that we probably haven't seen, you know, that we've never seen in the cattle industry. You know, and that's what's so unique about what's going on. We are, you know, so many breeders from coast to coast, we're all working so hard to make these things better. And, um, and this show ring translates that. I mean, I, that's what we're trying to do. We make the cattle better. And, and guys right here, you know, I grew up in the Hereford breed, so this is a little dear to me. I, you know, that's, that's what I, I showed my biggest claim to fame in my junior show career was having champion Hereford steer. Um, that was sired by a Summit son um, that uh, won the Houston Stock Show, uh, was champion Hereford all the way back in uh, 94. So, it, uh, um, and, you know, so this, this is pretty dear. I, I've enjoyed it. It's an awesome, awesome set of cattle, guys. My compliments to all the breeders and exhibitors. Hereford Association and, and all the crew, thanks a lot. A-plus a job, y'all always do. Um, Jack and Shane, appreciate uh, um, allowing me to do this. Cattlemen's Congress, this is a new up-and-coming show that, uh, that's going to dominate our country uh, as far as exhibiting cattle at a high level. Folks, if you could, give all these kids a nice round of applause on the job well done and a beautiful set of cattle, and I'll pick you a pair of champions. And congratulations, your grand champion, Pulled Hereford Female, here in the Junior Hereford Show at the Cattlemen's Congress, Paige Lemonager, Hudson, Illinois, with Boy Harley 018 HET. Second place in that division exhibited by Bowen Graves. And your reserve grand champion, Pulled Hereford Female, here on the Junior Hereford Show, exhibited by Mason Allen with BKCMCC Highness 082HET. Congratulations to all of our Hereford exhibitors. A special thank you to our judge today, Mr. Lydell Meyer. <laughs> 